Gosh darn it. Oh, there we go. Now <laughs> it's working. Uh, I, my mic was unplugged. That's all right. But welcome, oh. everybody, to WrestleMania. Wait, nope. Wrong night. Welcome to Wednesday Night Race in Action here as the Vigilante Racing League take on the toughest little paperclip you've ever seen here at Martinsville. 200 laps is what is scheduled here for tonight. And you best be sure there's going to be a whole lot of fender rubbing, beating and banging going on out there for all 200 of those laps. So let's get everybody all sit on tight and relaxed and unwind as we get things all kicked on off here with the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets red glare The bombs bursting And welcome back. As always, we have to say a huge thank you to the proud sponsors of the VRL, such as GC Cruise Travel and Mr. Greg Klein. Give them a call at 918-906-5616 or shoot them an email or a message over there on Facebook to get your next vacation booked up and underway. And it's all hassle-free and worry-free and stress-free because you're letting the professional do it all for you. Whether it's looking at going on a cruise, which he specializes in, or just going on some just normal vacation stuff, getting hotels and all that kind of things, Greg Klein can absolutely help you on that and save you money in the process. So be sure to get relaxing here today with GC Cruise Travel, the official travel provider for AAA Broadcasting and the VRL. Big thank you as well to Blue Fox Properties and Mr. Dave Mayberry. Give him a call at 520-850-4189 if you're looking to buy or sell your house in the Tucson, Arizona area or anywhere across the country. Let Dave and his just multitude of years of experience help you get you into that home of your dreams because buying and selling houses these days, man, it is stressful, 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 and it's just getting crazier by the day. So be sure to uh, get a good quality realtor like Dave Mayberry here today. And of course, huge thank you to DND Race Graphics, the one and only Mr. Ricky Wittenberg having phenomenal paint schemes on these trucks week in and week out. And you can get yourself a customized fancy paint scheme here as well. Got to thank him for the uh, fantastic splash screens that we get each and every single week. Just shows the uh, skill and ability that uh, Ricky's got there. So be sure to beautify your eye racing experience with a new paint scheme from DND Race Graphics here today. Big thank you to Mr. Ricky Wittenberg. As always, I am Alan Brown and I am joined by my uh, drowned best friend here, uh, especially after looking like that, I guess. Drowned. Drown, you man, you've had like rain like the last like four and a half days. Yeah, starting to build an arc already. Oh, so. yeah, I, I think Deuce would like it at least. 
The animals are already coming two by two through the neighborhood, so ah, might yeah. as well build them a really big boat. Yeah, just keep those cicadas out of there. But it's the brewmaster in general, my good buddy, Mr. Alan English, up here in the booth with me tonight. Uh, Mr. English, uh, we kind of know what we're going to get. It's Martinville. It's going to be some elbow throwing. There's going to be a whole bunch of rubbing. There's, it's it's, it's going to be a Martinsville race. Yeah, it's going to be a Martinsville race. Uh, there's not much room here. Uh, this little half mile paper clip puts on some pretty great racing, but uh, yeah, when you when you get this many guys that are this hungry on on a track this small, uh, where you can't really pass, you know, it's it's there's going to be some accidents tonight, and some of them probably not by accident. So if you get if you get my drift there, but I mean, it's a really cool old track. It's really flat uh, concrete. There's a little bit of a, or it's asphalt with concrete turns, which go figure on that. But uh, uh, really neat track. If they can get, if they can get rubbered in down low, you know, they might be able to catch a little bit of grip, but it's not going to last long. You know, these guys are going to mm. get a few laps in on these sets of tires, and uh, they're going to go to crap. So, uh, yeah, man, there's going to be a lot of frustration out there on, on the radio. Uh, but only me and uh, Adam are going to be able to hear it. So. That's probably that's probably a good thing. <laughs> it probably is. And speaking of Mr. Adam Turner, our anger management specialist in the house down there on Pit Road. Adam, I know this is kind of one of your uh, style of tracks that you like, where the anger definitely is going to be flowing by the end of this one. Yeah, I like these small tracks where people get mad at each other. It's only a half mile, so we're going to see that. Like you said, it's tight. And I'm going to warn the drivers, if any of them are listening, what you say on the radio, I'm not going to say it verbatim, but if you're mad at somebody, I'm going to say, hey, so-and-so oh, just yeah. yelled at so-and-so on the radio. Yeah. You know, that's what we do. We listen. Pay attention. We won't get into all the minute details if you did something really silly, but we are going to pay attention tonight, hopefully see some good crashes and whatnot, and we'll just make it happen tonight. I'm going to give well, you some rules here. One fast repair. 55% fuel. Five sets of tires. That's pretty good. We're going to need them here. Off a 200 lap race. 25 innocent points. You get a penalty. Six more. You'll get another penalty. And it's hot on the track. 113 degrees on the track. Yeah, that indeed it is. As we take a look here at tonight's race info. Beautiful sun shiny skies. Uh, we do have lights here, but I don't think we're going to need them as we race uh, in the daytime hours. But like you said, nice and toasty. But I did get some information that uh, the practice race on Monday was about 20 degrees cooler. So uh, these drivers are really putting in some laps here tonight uh, in qualifying and in practice uh, to, uh, to really get those laps on in there. Bringing us down to the key to the race here tonight. Man, you're going to just have to be a little bit of a smooth criminal out there. Can't be too aggressive on the throttle pedals or the steering wheel. You'll just go up and up, see turvy, and go for a wild ride. You just got to be nice and smooth, and who knows, you just might steal a few extra spots. Just got to jam your nose in there. I mean, that, that's the name of the game. When you get to the end of one of the straightaways, if your nose is there, you got the position. I mean, you just got to jam it in there and move the guy. I mean, that's what's going to be happening. And uh, Adam, I think uh, I think uh, you're in agreement there. That's that's how you pass here. You just get your nose underneath. It doesn't take much. You can actually square up and hit somebody in the bumper pretty hard, and it's going to push them up the track. It, most cases, it's not going to spit them out. They're just going to lose control for a second and basically be forced out of the way. And that's that's how you race here. You have to kind of make your own way sometimes. And that you do as a. Qualifying uh, finishes on up here in uh, about 50 seconds. We thank you all for tuning in and watching and joining the mayhem out here with us this fine evening. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so we get alerted, or you get alerted, not we. You guys, that's the important part. You guys get alerted every time that we go live. And if you do enjoy any of the action, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. That way we can continue to grow and get through uh, Zuckerbergs and Gates's uh, all their algorithms, and we can just make this community bigger and bigger. 
That's now, it. Adam, when you said we're going to paraphrase what people say on the radio, is that like at, at Pocono when you told me to love my neighbor's goat or something like that? But it wasn't those words exactly. Well, I mean, if it gets detailed like that, we will yeah, give yeah. some kind of detail. I mean, I'll say, you know, so-and-so uh, said some very nasty things about so-and-so. And then <laughs> yeah. the other person didn't respond, so we know there's a problem here. Uh, we so, know they're mad. So what we'll do is we'll send it through the biblical the uh, biblical translator, right? Yeah, that would be actually smart. We should try that one, Race. Eh, it's tough. I, I don't know my Bible good enough for that. But uh, here we go as the drivers all line on up down there on the starting grid. Let's go ahead and tell everybody where their favorite driver is starting here tonight. Up at the very front, how about this? He is definitely good enough tonight. Craig good enough starting up on pole position. He's going to have the 7 of Timothy Pope starting to his outside. 34 of Nick Ramsey, one of our friendly Canadians, is going to be tag teaming up with another Canadian, Sean McDonald, in the 23 machine starting third and fourth. Fifth goes to the 14 of Dustin with a Y. Dustin Eaton always hungry to his outside is the 69 of Larry Dickerson in sixth. Seventh will go to the 18 of Andrew Player with the 99 of America's Drivers starting up there inside that top 10 in eighth. Ninth goes to the double nickel 55, Mr. Ricky Wittenberg, and the 43 of another Canadian, Mr. John Curtis in the 43 machine rounds out your field starting top 10. 28 of George Rincon starts in 11th. 12th will be Zachary Hallinan in the 74 machine. Our buddy Greg Klein in the 92 will start in 13th place. 14th will be Josh Bittner in the 84. The 77 of Jacob Young starts inside row number eight to his outside. Mike Everidge in the 82. Greg Dobson in the 085 from up there in Canada starting in 17th. And to answer your question, he said 33 of his start the race. How many will be running at the end? I'm going to guess about 22. Chandler Paul in the 72 starts right next to him there. Kyle Vaught in the 16 will start in 19th place and rounding out your top 20 and making up row number 10, Edson Ochoa in the Ocho machine. Number three, Austin Paul, 21st, starting 22nd, 01 of Kelly Keel. 68, Dustin Wade, Dustin with an I, 23rd, 24th, John Gallagher in the 1, 2, 3. Robert Chipman, number 58, begins this race 25th, 26th. Jonathan Osborne in 81, 79, Alejandro Gonzalez, 27th, 28th. Jess Vaught, what's he doing back here? Number 33. 19 to Jack Dixon, 29th. Uh, Scott D. Howe, Dave Mayberry, Andrew Cawthon, and Kevin Hunt. I don't know the actual order of those, but. That's it. And Rory Vaught is our race control. And there you have it. And to answer your question, I believe the 33 is serving a penalty here after an incident last week, so. Uh, naughty, naughty. Yeah, being a naughty driver, he gets uh, pushed back towards the uh, back end of the field. I think the 81 of Osborne has to do a drive through penalty here as well. So that's definitely going to be something to watch out for as the uh, uh, trucks all line up behind the uh, pace truck. Lights are off. He's going to be peeling on down this uh, next time he goes by uh, the pit road entrance here. So we get ready to rumble. track man i love it the only thing it'd be better if it was at night time but this is martinsville and it's good any time of the day yeah that indeed it is as there goes that pace truck off down and out of the way as the field goes through turns three and four it's all gonna be on the 89 and the seven here as the flag is ready the fans are ready and here we go Green flag racing for the first time here tonight at Martinsville as the shuffle and bustle sends it off down into turns one and two. Still side by side for the seven and the 89. Now down towards the back stretch. The 89 getting a great run out of the corner from that bottom side, leaving the seven there in second. 34, Nick Ramsey able to tuck into line. The 14 of Dustin Eaton not wasting any time getting up underneath that 23 of Sean McDonald. You got the 99 of Albert Anderson going, oh, out to the outside of the 55 of Ricky Wittenberg. Oh, as the 34 goes around, and that will be our first yellow of the evening. Nick Ramsey went there? around there. It looked like he might have went around on his own there, the 34 Rowdy Energy truck. Yeah, out of two, you can, you know, with loose tires, cold tires, you can 
lose it on your own pretty easily. We yeah. hadn't been talking about that. And it's, four, two. Especially with how hot this track temp is, it, everything is just going to be slippery and slidey. Some uh, decent contact there for the 34. Still able to drive around the racetrack, though, so he's looking okay for now. It's going to be one of those tracks. We're going to see a whole bunch of beat-up cars, I think, until the end, uh, where uh, if they've been able to do so, save their faster pairs. Thanks to everybody for joining us over there in the YouTube chat uh, tonight. Uh, Panic Racing 434 pulling for Larry Dickerson in the 69. Jillian out there uh, ready for some intense racing tonight. Go Kelly. Uh, Taylor Provax uh, saying ready for some chaos out there here tonight. Pulling for the 33 and the 16, of course. Uh, Osvaldo Mejia pulling for the 16 machine. And 16 don't have a chance. Uh, doesn't have a don't have a chance. Thirty three. Oh, okay, I got you. That's what they're saying. Mm. But uh, thank y'all for joining us out there. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Should uh, yeah, should definitely be a good good night. Uh, I know a little early uh, early on here, but uh, where are we going next week here? Because I think. Uh, once we get past this, you know, we had a short track last week at Richmond, a short track this week, so I think uh, things are going to get a little bottled up. I think next week is just going to be a fun, kind of easy track that uh, these drivers can get spread out on. Uh, looks like Texas. Where's the NASCAR going next week? Texas, Texas, Texas Motor Speedway. Yeah, it's, that's, a, that's a good mile and a half to kind of yeah. shake things back Texas. up. Oh, I'm going to have to swing over there. Check things out, you know. Texas, and, and, it is Texas, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go down and uh, I'm gonna tell them if they need my help anywhere in the booth or with a wrench or something, I'm, I'll be available. What do y'all think? Oh, selling hot dogs or? Well, I mean, if that's what you know, they need me as a team player. I, I'll sell the hot dogs. I mean, you're, you're gonna be the guy in the ticket booth saying. Mister, these tickets have been waiting on you for a long time. You're going to be that guy, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be Will call. You're going to work at Will Call. I do know the wreckers that go down there and do all the cleaning up of the mayhem. You know, that's what I've wanted to do for a uh, like one of these PGA Tour things, is just be go be like help or something like that. To well, they love volunteers entry. at PGA Tours. That's a... Easy no, money. Pay. Yeah, they don't pay you, but you do get some shirts and swag and get to see some good golf. Watch. Yeah. You seem like a good marshal where you could yell at people to be quiet and I'll, stuff. I'll right? be the guy that waves the sign that like every single after like each person hits just like waves down the fairway or left or right or that kind of thing. As the pace truck peels off down to the left, the 89 and the 7 line things back on up here once again, side by side. Here we go. Back to the green flag once again as we are side by side. 23 Sean McDonald not wasting any time and not allowing that 14 to try to get up under him that easily this go around they're going to remain side by side as the 89 and good enough getting a great drive coming off of turn number one able to uh, get back out in front of that seven behind all the drivers up at the front though you got the 69 the 18 starting to figure things out 99 gets on down and low on the 18 of andrew player trying to get a couple of positions that way ricky wittenberg finds himself with some open space here also Fine. around oh no 72 and the 01 in the 77 getting in contact as the yellow flag comes on out i think that started with the 92 but let me verify that yeah, greg klein was around and i think that might have been the checkup yeah. to avoid it uh -oh. I'm not sure. yeah whatever happened yeah. was because of klein and it looks like a another case of the self oopsies there up along that uh, outside he's kind of riding around where that transition is between the asphalt and the concrete is there english i know it can get kind of slippery if you're on all, all the way up at, out that way it can it can get slippery up there and it can also get slippery when you cut that little curbing on the inside there used to be grass down there it's pavement now but there is a little uh red and white curb there it is not small so if you hit that uh, it can definitely help loosen you up as well but yeah you gotta be remember. careful of those marbles i don't remember the grass down there they had grass have, 
We used to have grass down there, yeah. That was a long time ago, I guess. But I remember my old NASCAR games on uh, on uh, other platforms. Uh, they had that little grass ring that was down there. Well, maybe it was the graphics. It's like something. NASCAR Racing 2004 or something. Yeah, this way. isn't a game, by the way. This is simulation. Everybody knows that. <laughs> oh, okay, <Yeah>. thanks. <laughs> These guys are true competitors out here tonight. Yeah, well, speaking about being a true competitor, how about that 10 of Andrew Cawthon already almost up double digits, up to 9 right now, up into 24th, just bobbing and weaving his way through this mid-to-back pack. Able to steal a few extra spots here and there, so great driving from the 10 machine thus far. whole bunch of people up a bunch of spots. Uh, 14 to Eaton's up a couple. You got Albert Anderson up a couple. Mike Everidge up four in that 82 machine. Same thing with Chan the Man, Chandler Paul. Hey, did, did y'all see what happened with this a billion dollar lotto again? No. Well, uh, magically, just like the last time one was over like a billion or something, it gets delayed and delayed and then the, it all comes in ar around three or four o'clock in the morning, kind of like it did during these votes on the last election. There's a lot of controversy behind this. Uh, don't, huh. I don't believe it. I don't think. I think they're hand selecting people for the lotto now. Once it gets over to a certain number, do your research. Mike Adamson out there joining us in the YouTube chat, saying howdy, guys. I'm on the sideline tonight. Got a foot injury. Sorry to hear that, buddy. I think you got a little too much uh, sun while watching that. Uh, Watching that eclipse the other day. Oh, maybe so. Ava Vaught out there saying the 16 does have a chance out there tonight. The 16 does have a chance. Osvaldo. See? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got a chance out here tonight. But, I mean, he started up on pole, but Craig good enough. I mean, from the start of the season to now... I mean, we've seen him just get better and better and more comfortable as he's been driving with these guys. And it's put him up at a pretty good position here tonight where track position, man, that's the that's the name of the game, especially if you can get up there, up at the front as the pace truck comes back down and out of the way. Here we go once again, back to the green flag. Here is the uh, entirety of this field crosses that start finish line side by side. Go the 32 or the 89, excuse me, and the 789 way back out in front, getting that bottom line run. 69, Larry Dickerson sticking to the inside here, trying to get around oh. the 55 of Ricky Wittenberg big wreck. and big, big wrecking. And Osborne oh, squeezed right through it. The 01 is still driving backwards. Wow. Oh, looks like the 16 of Kyle Vaught getting involved in that one. On top of it, let's go ahead and take a look back and kind of see what happens here. Looks like the 72 of Chan the Man was kind of right around near the start of it. Oh, no, the 01 getting into the back corner panel there. Just a little bit of the 72, and that causes a major, major backage inside of the corner, and that's just nowhere to go. Becomes a parking lot. Ooh, three goes around, eight goes around, 16 gets involved. 68 gets tied up in it. The 187 of Scott Howell was able to stop in time. Um, so thankfully, no damage to him, but he definitely got held up from that one. I definitely have to... Uh, I'm getting to the age where I have to take some meds uh, if I have a little backage uh, like that brown. What? I'm glad you brought it up. What are you talking about? <laughs> Whoop. Oh, man, you weren't kidding about Jonathan Osborne just squirting right on through there. Yeah, he thread the needle somehow. He slowed down just in time and just enough to get through it. There's a lot of mayhem in front of him. Kind of like the mayhem of our lottery system. I'm pretty sure they're funneling that. When it gets high enough, they funnel it to some something. And probably the one that starts with the U and ends with the Ukraine. Something like that. <laughs> just do your own research, guys. I couldn't possibly guess that. Uh, 
Well, how about a, a more sports-related controversy for you, Turner? Okay, let's. I love those. Yes, please. Uh, did you happen to see how many free throws were taken in the uh, game the other night between the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks? Uh, no, that wasn't oh. on my uh, my bingo card for the year. But what it was on my watch? What list. was it? Two. For the whole game? For the whole game. Wow. What? Who? Wait, there's a more. There's a lot going on now. That's a ref. That's an inside job, is what that is. Yeah, I got a, got a feeling that the NBA came on down and told the refs, "Hey, let's swallow the whistles for this one and see what yeah. see what happens." And hmm. but uh, there there you have it. So two little little really shenanigans, little shenanigans going on there. Not as if the NBA isn't rigged at all as we get ready to uh, get back to the green flag here once again 89 a good enough hanging on to that great starting spot up there on that front row seven of timothy pope still trying to figure things out on that outside lane like you guys were saying on the uh, kind of pre-game side of things here it's all about getting to that inside getting your nose to that inside i don't know if we're going to be able to see anybody actually pick up a run here especially on the short runs that we've had thus far for trying to uh, pass on the outside yeah, this is Craig good enough. He he can ride up there as long as he wants. He's just got to control these restarts and not get into trouble. And this is his race. Yes, here we go. Entering into that Geico restart zone once again. And green flag running once again here from Martinsville. You got that 89 going side by side with the 7-7. Seven. Seven doing a little bit better job trying to keep up with that 89, but still able to jump out in front 14 of Dustin with a Y gets free and clear of the 99 of Albert Anderson. Meanwhile, right back behind him, we got the 23 of Sean McDonald just stuck up against that outside wall as the 55 of Ricky Wittenberg runs underneath him here, trying to uh, trying his best to steal a couple of positions here. 69 of Larry Dickerson. Oh, going in a little too hot. He's losing a couple of positions, and the 43 is able to dive on through. That's also opening up the hole for the 82 of Mike Everidge to filter on down and through. 84, Josh Bittner just waiting for his turn to get a chance to get around the 69. You got the 01 of Kelly Keel going side by side with the 123 of John Gallagher. You also got the 33 at Jess Vaught, who was a, a lap down at one point, got the lucky dog now back on that lead lap. Oh, 82 is around. Oh, no. Oof. Ooh, Mike Everidge and uh, Larry Dickerson both went around in the same set of turns there in three. Yeah, let's see. Here's the uh, 82. Coming on in. Oh, no. I think the 69 may have, uh, while trying to uh, maybe make a dive down below the 82, got a little help, a little helping bump from the 84, giving him a little extra shove of speed. Sends the 69 sideways through the corner, also getting into the uh, 82 of average there. And then from there was a little bit of a pile. 123, just able to avoid it. Oof, man. Parting of the Red Seas there for the uh, 69. A lot of good heads-up driving from drivers there. Well, 84 did get two positions out of that, so, I mean, I guess good on you, Josh. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, it's Martinville. You got to gotta move people. It, that's true, and also, you know, it, it's probably one of those, like, maybe Josh was also lining up pretty much the exact same move what uh, Dickerson was going to try to do and, you know, sling it on down into the into the bottom of the track there so uh when two trucks want to go into the same spot someone wins and someone loses and in uh in that case the 69 definitely lost i mean i'd i'd do that to you guys oh yeah 100 percent. i mean and y'all do it to me i mean that's well i, I would it do it to you but i wouldn't do it on lap 26 out of 200 yes, I, yes you would no i wouldn't I, I would wait. Too. No, you would. No, you it's too early to do that kind of shenanigans. He'd, no, these that's the shenanigans. <laughs> He'd wait for lap twenty-seven. Mm, at least thirty, okay. I wouldn't be able to tr control the car anyway. I, I just, I'm just a talking head at this point, you know. Like, a, you know how they put those pretty people on TV? Well, we're not on TV. We're just talking. So. So you're like the I, George Stephanopoulos of the no uh, God no racing. 
What? No, uh, no, I don't know. That guy doesn't seem like my type of guy, you know. <laughs> I think I'm more like, you know, just a Walter Cronkite of racing, you know. Well, the just the facts the out here. Yeah, just, just give you some, just the truth I and justice. See, I got you, I got you in, in the terms of, you know, racing broadcasters. I, I'd put you in the same park as like a Clint Boyer, you know. You you know what you're yeah. talking about out there. You done a done a few things racing wise and can understand what these drivers are going through. And at the same well, time, having having some fun. Car a hot rod. Yeah. Wow, look at the guy's hot rod. Look at look at that but, hot rod. <laughs> that is true. I do like. Uh, I mean, I wish I had his money, you know. And like, he's got big farm and ranch, and he seems like his life is really good. What happened here? We need to like mimic these guys, maybe. Get some money to go in. But look, we're going to do some more racing, Brown. I'm going to give us five laps. So what do you got? Ah, we'll see. I, we're, we're due for a little bit of a longer run here as uh, Stuart good enough cheering on Craig, who's been doing a fantastic job holding that top spot here as the pace truck gets on down and out of the way. And here we go. The seven giving it all she's got to try to get around that 89, but it's not going to be quite good enough. Ooh, he's keeping it close this time. Still side by side as they go on down the backstretch. 99 of Anderson doing a great job with the 14 as well all tied on up i think right. timothy pope's found timothy. a little bit of something as we got a, another yellow there and i think the seven maybe seven. just had the nose in front of the 89. 77 got turned uh somehow in the canes machine i think pope might have taken oh. first place away from craig good enough there Definitely got a great restart. Let's and just kill it. Kill it. Oh, smoked young. Yeah, it was. Oh, man, it was looking like it was about to be three wide heading on down into the corner. Oh, yeah. I, I think the 77 of good enough saw it coming that it was going to be three wide and lifted a little bit earlier. Uh, he just flat smoked them. Yeah. I don't mean he did, but I think there was yeah. some checking up and. Behind him, didn't check up. You know, that's just a great description. Because when I went back and looked at the replay, I'm like, yeah, that's how I describe it. Yep, he just freaking smoked him. Again, <laughs> I, again, I think it was the 77 saw that they were about to go three wide. Just fought moving uh, his way down the racetrack, and uh, it's like, ah, it's, there's really going to be no survivors if we keep it three wide. And so he was trying to maybe back out of that situation a little bit, and unfortunately. Uh, he had someone right there behind him in Kelly Keel, and Kelly surprised to see the 77 slowing down. And Kelly Keel is such a great pusher. I'm just not sure that Jacob Young wanted to be pushed in uh, that situation. He needed the push right there. You know, we talk about him being a great pusher and all, but this is Martin's villain. I don't think Young really needed any help, but like you yeah. said, well, it was just a <laughs> it was an innocent deal from a check up there. Get ready for the bump. Yeah, I used to hear that. Here That'd be the last words you'd hear. Here comes the bump. And they just get smack, smack from behind and turn around. But he didn't even tell him there. He just hit him. Lori Vaught expects to be extremely busy here tonight. Uh, she bought a brand new lo notebook to write down all the cautions and penalties. I'm sure it's legal sized. I hate the legal sized paper. Why? You get Just more for... room before you have to flip it. Yeah, but you can't put it in a nice folder. You have to buy the legal folders. They're too big to haul around. But it's not better if you, not if you wad them up or fold them in half. <laughs> it's also I, it's also better and more comfortable and spacious to write than college ruled. College ruled is just a little too cramped, you know. Yeah, I mean. I like the scientific journals, you know, like the little science journals. Makes you feel smart, too. Yeah, I feel like a genius, you know, like I could be uh, E equals MC squared, you know, stuff like that. 
As the pace truck peels off down and out of the way. A little bit of a change up up here up at the front. The 7 getting the good spot here down on the bottom side. Good enough up to his outside as the green flag waves once again. And the 7, man, what a great restart there. He was ready for it. He's used to the time. And now the 14 of Dustin with a Y. Dustin Eaton slinging on down low on the 89 as they go battling side by side down the back stretch. 89 still putting up a really good fight as the 55 and the 99 go to battle here side by side. Same thing with the 23 and the 28. The silver bullet machine from uh, George Rincon here this evening. Really uh, driving up there nice and well. Still side by side with the 23 machine. A little side by side back here. 23 and 28, 74 and the 18. This little, this little clump of trucks right here is not... Nobody's giving up anything right here. Nah, but what I'm what I'm liking though is they're keeping you know a good couple feet of space here, not allowing for any uh, i racing net coach shenanigans to uh, take place or anything like that. As we take a ride there with the 43 of John Curtis to see all the side by side action going on there. Then behind him is good enough. Got bumped by the 99, but he was able to save it there. Sorry, buddy. Oh, it's all good. Uh, behind these guys, after uh, all that uh, two wide shenanigans, it's uh, nice and kind of spaced out, all single filed out. I think everyone uh, realizing that uh, to avoid Lori's wrath, they're going to have to put some green flag laps in here, and they're just kind of tucking in the line. Got some lap traffic causing a few little problems out here. 29 at Dave Mayberry going a lap down here, now uh, kind of being uh, the buttress in the middle uh, between uh, Albert Anderson and his next target. Oh, and he goes out way wide. Just trying to give these drivers as much room as possible. Ooh, getting really tight. Thought we were going to go three wide there for a split second with the uh, 23 machine still going two wide with the 28. Oh, oh baby. A little bit of three wide action there. And no real good spot for the 29 to be, Alan. He's just trying to stay out of the way, but... It's hard to do at a narrow track like this. It really isn't. Right. I mean, he's doing an amazing job right now of allowing these guys to go. Oh, no, Mayberry going around. That's the Hardy's machine. Oh, old Uncle Dave was doing a really, really good job of letting people get around him. But unfortunately, I think the marbles up there on the high side finally caught up with him. Yeah, Did I ever much. tell you how much I love the ham and cheese from Hardee's? Those were yes. so good. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I never ate a ham and cheese from Hardee's. Yeah, they had some good ones. But anyway, go ahead with your analysis of that one. Yeah, I think just running up there on the uh, asphalt strip, not down on the concrete and at a short track like this, marbles will collect up there as these tires continue to uh, shred themselves away, and I think uh, that's eventually what uh, uh, what got Dave all turned. Thanks, slick. Not much. Uh, not much banking to help you either. So no. I mean, once you get in the slick stuff, you're done. Well, and I think with it not being much banking, that's why. You know, that caution was just Dave spinning. He really didn't even hit the wall or anything, so it was just a little uh, oopsie spin, and uh, everyone can continue to drive away. But if w this was at, like, Bristol or Dover or something with those high banks, it would have drifted down the track into some traffic, and that's when uh, things could have been disastrous. Hallinan coming down in the 74 machine... It sounds like a psych, like a psychotic medication, Halanin. I gotta take some Halanin. I gotta take 300 milligrams of Halanin, <laughs> stat. Well, he's hitting his box, and uh, man, it looks like maybe fuel only out there. That's uh, another thing we're gonna have to watch out for tonight, here, fellas. Is uh, these pitch strategies, especially with the cautions that we are seeing. They're getting an extended uh, amount of runs on um, on these tanks and uh, on these tires.
but eventually you are going to have to come on down into the pits, and it's all, all about trying to manage that and getting back up to the front. That's where we may see some splits in strategy where, you know, just from the sheer number of cautions, some guys are going to say, well, I'm just going to stay out until, you know, I'm just about ready to run out of gas. And some guys might decide, well, I'm in the back half of the field. I'm just going to pit every time and top off. And, uh, you know, just in case we do get a long green flag run, it might gain some great track position. Yeah, no. If I was in the, the last, maybe 20 on down, I would definitely get some fuel and just run in, top off and all that. I, I will say, though, if you were far enough back, especially as things get lined up single file, I mean, we got, you know, 33 drivers racing around out here. Oh, uh, it looks like Uncle Dave, uh, oh, no, Uncle Dave's still running. Um, I thought it disconnected there, but, uh, you gotta be careful if you're one of those drivers out there in the back, because there's a possibility that you, you could, the pits will be closing as you're leaving pit road and then you're going to lap down under caution. So just a, another thing these drivers are going to have to watch out for and calculate as here we go. Ready to go back to some green flag racing with the 7 of Timothy Pope and the 14 of Dustin with a Y. Oh no, the 99 spinning his tires, causing a big check up there on the front stretch. Eventually, he is able to get down and out of the way, but that caused some major issues for the 23 of Sean McDonald. And it's Thank continuing you, to go as we got some uh, crashing in the back. Alejandro Gonzalez uh, couldn't hold on to it there, as there were some secondary uh, wrecks going on back there. Finally... 79 went around, and uh, that's what brought out the yellow, it looks like. Yahtzee. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look back at the 79 here and uh, kind of see what happened. Yeah, it was all all because of that uh, checkup on the front stretch. Oh, man, he gets deep into the back of the 92, and then the 3 gets into the back of him. He scoots on down to the 434. 434 is able to kind of muscle his way out of it, and then, oh, 79 got straightened on out, but nowhere to go for the 085 as the 79 started getting loose again as I think he was trying to get back to the throttle, maybe in the wrong gear and a little too much torque. Got spun back about up into the three up against the outside wall. 085 of Dobson getting a piece of that action, and uh, then things finally calmed back down. But, oh, man, Turner, that was just a... Whew. Well, it's like the last five of them, you know. Woo. What are we doing here, guys? Let's get it together. You know, it is Martinsville. It's very tough. But I think these guys are good enough to get it together. It's super tight. It's hot on the track. Maybe we should have dialed down a temperature or something. I don't know. Throw on the AC units. Yeah. Just do the cooling thing, you know. Uh, global cooling. You know, do the thing where they... They bring the airplanes and they have the contrails. Just put them over top and then drop that dust and cool off the track a little bit. Yeah, we'll just have to just have to wait and see. We are a quarter of the way through this thing, though, as uh, we cross the threshold for lap number 50 there. So we're... We're making our way. We were actually very close to that uh, that long green flag run we were expecting there until uh, uh, Mayberry had the uh, unfortunate uh, opportunity to uh, to spin up on the outside wall while he was trying to let everybody all by. But uh, that's basically what we need: just people to get kind of spread on out just a little bit and just you know leave leave a little little bit of room, and we'll we'll see a long green flag run from these guys. It's I mean we've. We've seen them, seen them go flag to flag at, you know, Auto Club, at Daytona. We've seen them go flag to flag at all these uh, crazy places. Uh, so there's definitely a possibility of a long green flag coming here at some point. Just a completely different animal, though. This track is just a meat grinder. That's, that's what it is, man. It, it is so hard to get long, you know, green flag runs here with such a big field and even, it, you know, we talk about this league all the time, about them being one of the safest running leagues and, mm -hmm. you know, but 
it's 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 the track, man. This it's all the track. Yeah, no, it's 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 tough. You you do have a lot of trucks out here. But it's so hot. It's it's just bound to have a rough night. As here we go, side by side, green flag action once again as the 7 and the 14 go to battle. The 7 up on that outside lane, the 14 on the inside still lined on up side by side as they head on down through the backstretch. 89 and the 99 having a good side by side battle here as well. How about that 28 of George Rincon holding his own up there in fifth, watching the action unfold here in from as the 14 gets clear of the 7 for the time being. The 89 not quite clear of the 99 who's stuck up against that outside fence. Eventually good enough able to find a spot and get free and clear there of Anderson. Still side-by-side -side action for the 18, 55, 43, and the 34 as they head on down into uh, turns. I think that's uh, turns 1 and 2. Some good battles still being had up inside of this top 10. Even got the 16 and the 19 going side-by-side -side here in front of the 3 of Austin Paul. If you're on decent tires and you know how to run that top groove, you can pass on the outside here. We've seen it happen already a couple of times here tonight. So just keep that in mind. Don't be surprised when it does occur again. Yep. Side-by-side -side action continues on here for the 55 and the 18. Neither driver blinking or giving any space as the 55 and the 18 almost have a little romantic dinner with their right sides. Oh, no! Coming out of the corner. Great save there from the 34 of Nick Ramsey. Those back wheels were a spinning, and I thought he was going to go with spinning, but he was able to get that nose pointed back in the right direction. It's about 45 degrees crooked, but was able to save it. That was great. Yeah, fantastic save there. Still a good battle between the 18 and the 55. Neither driver really giving an inch. Ooh, John Curtis trying to sneak his nose up in there for the action. Yeah, he's getting a little impatient back there. As, as the guys were running side by side, he was trying to hope they'd figure something out so he could continue at his pace there. And the 3 and the 01 both showing a little bit of damage on their race trucks as they go side by side. 01 and Kelly Keel hanging on to that top 20 spot for the time being, but the 3 of Austin Paul really trying to get that outside lane to work. Just can't get the run coming out of the corners to really get the pass uh, completed here. Hallinan in the 74 and the 187 of Scott Howell lining up and uh, ready to uh, try to make their attempt to get around the 01 here as soon as they can. Team Anderson out in force in the YouTube chat. Thank you, Kathy and Edith, for being here, representing. And uh, pulling for Albert in that 99 Folgers truck. Thank yeah. you, Amanda Wade, for being here oh, as well. Oh, no! There goes oh, the there 43. Goes Curtis. John Curtis backwards up against the inside wall on the front stretch coming out of four. Yeah, I think he had some help, uh, help in that one. Let's go ahead and take a look back here from our uh, No Lies Chopper camera. At the uh, 43, and it looks like, oh, maybe the third, I think the 34 might have in involved in a little bit of a stack up here in the corner. Just gets to that back bumper of the 43 and gets that uh, back end up just a little bit to get those rear tires spinning, and the 43 goes around. Right there in that critical spot while you're feathering the gas pedal, getting ready to get back into it, and catch a little bump from beyond, behind oh. and that's all it's going to take. And that's that's exactly what it was. The 34 was ready to jump on that gas pedal to head on down the front stretch but uh, unfortunately the 43's rear bumper was still right there. Yeah, y your tires are on the edge of grip right there. You're trying to do everything you can to take that exit as fast as you can without the back end coming around. A little bit of extra bump, a little extra momentum from behind there is easily going to upset that truck. You could probably sneeze on the back of that truck and it'd go around at that oh, point. Oh, yeah, it, it wouldn't even take, uh, like, any forward momentum either. I, th I think what really did it for the 34 was the fact that uh, they were on the 
on the brakes and that back end was still sitting up in the air just a little bit. I think the nose uh, got up underneath the back end and uh, just took a little weight off there and you take a little weight off those rear wheels. It's just like driving on ice. We see in the Arca cars, uh, you know, where you just, they're shaped, the way they're shaped, you know, like a, like a doorstop, like a triangle. You just get that, that, that pointy nose up underneath the uh, high back bumper and it doesn't take much. This truck's not exactly the same shape, but uh, same principle. Amanda Wade out there pulling for the 86, saying, uh, or the 68, I'm sorry. And uh, up eight positions. Keep mo keep on moving up. Getting real close to Florida Man stuff, guys. I'm gonna have to do some looking. And I've been lost in the sauce for a few, about a week. I've kind of been out of it, so we have to find a good Florida Man story for y'all. Been pretty busy any? with all the locusts and. Everything else is that's going on. that is the coming, you know, and it's a biblical thing too. The when we're getting these locusts with the red heifers and all the stuff that's going on, the you really heifer. have to, yeah. Well, I don't want to get into that, but you, oh. you can Google it, it's a thing, yeah, yeah. So it's all pointing to, to the uh, you know, the end of time, but the end of time, we could still have another couple hundred years, so. Don't stop paying your mortgage just yet, guys, okay? I'm not advocating that. I mean, I would buy a little bit of gold and silver if you could. What about aluminum? I, I, I don't think that's a very popular or ex precious metal, you know? Oh, okay. I have a bunch in the back of my truck. They're just empty <laughs> aluminum <laughs> vessels. I don't yes. think they're worth anything. Hey, it's melt them down and make little ingots out of them as the pace truck gets down and out of the way the 7 and the 14 back at it here side by side the 7 getting a great restart there on the outside Elaine the 14 coming back with some momentum though is going to even things up as they come out of turns 1 and 2 the 7 getting a great drive off of that corner able to keep the 14 at bay for now but they go right back to it side by side down and around turns 3 and 4 as the Drag racing battle in and out of these corners continues. You got the 89 and the 99 having a good battle. The Folgers machine tucking in a line behind the 89 of a good enough as they continue their little battle up in front of them. Still side by side for the 14 and his other half there in the 7. Still hard battling here. Not even halfway through this race. Oh, a little bump to the 34 from the 33. Sends him up the track. That's how you make a pass that, right there. That's what it's supposed to look like right yes. there. And I mean, 34 is going to be mad, but that's how it's supposed that's to a look. Perfect, that's a perfect Martinsville pass. Now he's three wide back here at 34 is. And just absolutely stuck up in some traffic as a three of Austin Paul is trying to make his way up underneath the uh, 34. You got the uh, 19 and the 16 going side by side. Uh, right there behind him as well. 74, Zachary Hallinan, Alejandro Gonzalez all lying in wait for their turn to uh, uh, make their way around us. The 8, oh, he's slipping and sliding, able to just corral that thing back. Uh, point is straight just in time before traffic was really starting to get up to him. The 43 of John Curtis moves and gets around the 8 machine. Analea Tovar out there pulling for the... Hashtag Team Tang. Then let's go, baby. Pull for Team Orangutan. Oof, little tire smoke there as the 434 starts to go around. Oh, oh no. Go. Big one coming out of turn number two. Oh, goodness. 72, 84, 434. Goodness. Kevin a good long Hunt. run, though. Good long Kevin run. Kevin Hunt though. and Ramsey, I think, were the two trucks that right there oh they're still clogged up back there why is everybody trying to race around you want you once the thing the goes frozen. down the yeah the field's frozen there's no point in you could set on a track wait 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 for everybody to go around before you try to whip around and yeah but we oh. brown i thought that was a decent run yeah it was looking looking like it was going to be a decent run there 
As it uh, yeah. looks like, oh, just the 434 just scraping fenders there with the 434, sending him on around, and then both drivers uh, continuing to get collected. 19 gets collected on in it. 74 Hallinan gets in it. Oh, goodness me. Let's uh, see here who else. Man, 72 of Chan the Man. 77 of uh, Jacob Young gets tied up in it. 84, Josh Bittner got a piece of the action. All I slipping and Kevin, sliding. I think Kevin Hunt was running a normal high line there, thinking that the 34 was down farther like everybody else was, but the 34 was up a little higher. I, I, I just don't think he expected him to be that high. He knew he was down low, but I don't think he knew he was that far up the track. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Mm. Unless you've got a VR helmet on and can look left, it's really hard to tell how far away that truck is on the left-hand side. Or, or even having a real-life spotter, because I mean, really, the the computer spotter all he says is car inside, car outside. That's that that's all they say. They don't say, "Hey, car car inside, right on your door, yeah. danger close," you know. Yeah, short tracking is a lot different. Every inch matters, as most guys know, and. uh you know, having somebody that close to you there running a little bit higher than you expect them to be. Well, now we're going to get canceled. Uh, Thanks, Alan. For what? I, what I, did we do? Did you? Uh, <laughs> I, I saw what you were I putting talking, down. I was talking about spotting, man. I don't know what mm -hmm. you're... Uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you right now. I wasn't listening, so I'm out of this. They're not going to fire me or anything. It's just you two, you hosers. <laughs> I wasn't even listening. I got like was daydreaming about stuff, you know. My Jeez. brain drifts off about weird stuff, you know. Like, I think civilization may have been like wiped out at one point. Like they were, we were over technology with the pyramids and stuff, and then they like just Atlanta? wiped it out. Yeah, just everything got wiped out, and we restarted. Probably what's going to happen again. Here we go, Brown. As the 14 and the 89 get set on up to go to battle here, lining up side by side as the pace truck makes his way on down and out of the way. Here we go once again. Green flag race in 99 with a great restart that time, able to get way free and clear of the 7 of Timothy Pope. I think Tim, I, I don't know what happened to Tim there. I think he was maybe waiting for something uh, something else to happen as the 28 of George Rincon tries to work the outside lane there. Ooh, 7 mounting up onto that curving. Almost gets up into the 28, but able to uh, avoid the contact there as they remain side by side. Good battle here between the 18 and the 81 right behind the 55 of Wittenberg. 10 going to battle here uh, with the 33 of Jess Vaught, who's continuing to climb up this racetrack. A little bit of tire smoke from some... Lockups of uh, lockups of those tires and those brakes. Eighty-one in the ten now, side by side. Heard some guys saying uh, wrecking in the front, but don't see anything. I guess they were all saved it. Oh, uh, wrecking in the back now. Cautions out. Oh, 34, Nick Ramsey. Oof. He's having a rough one. Hey, it's ooh, an Ochoa kidding. got into him there. Oh yeah, Ochoa he truck. was. Yeah, the eight machine coming in a, a little hot and a little narrow into the corner here and uh, just drifts way up the racetrack. And 34, uh, unfortunately, on the receiving end of that. Yeah, he just cut, kind of cut the corner. Went, went way up the track there. Yeah, I think you're right. He just sent it in a little hot. Hmm. Hmm. Look, guys, I'm running out of alcohol, I'm going to be honest with you. DoorDash doesn't deliver out here in the hills, uh, so we're going to have to straighten this out. <laughs> I know, heaven forbid you ever drink anything like water. 
No, I do that in the morning. Bro. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah, I do. I have water. I go water, coffee, tea, beer, liquor. Repeat. It's like a r- r- rinse and repeat cycle. English, you kind of understand. You're kind of the same kind of guy. Yeah, I I gave up the hard stuff uh, a couple years ago. But it's probably uh, best. I'm definitely a, a water coffee and then followed up with some few cold beers and water again before I go to bed. Water is nice. I don't drink sodas anymore. I just don't. Uh, I, I pretty much cut sugar out. Now, I will if I'm having uh, tacos or breakfast tacos. I'll give me one of the Mexican Cokes, you know. It just goes so well with a nice breakfast taco. Understandable. Understandable. But I don't normally drink that either. I think they're getting frustrated. They're just kind of goofing off on the radio. I'm cautioned so far, Brown. Yeah, they're they're working and working through some stuff out there. <laughs> oh man, there's, at least they're having fun with it. They they run the NASCAR circuit, and that, they don't have a choice. This is what they do, and this is where we are. And of course, Lori's saying at this rate, he, she's not doing a race report. They all get a penalty if you raced and. Uh, to that, I, I would have to disagree. We've seen some good racing. I know we've seen some contacts, seen some spins and whatnot, but, I mean, up at the front, there's been some fantastic side-by-side racing. We've seen some great side-by-side and some saves in the middle of the pack, and even at the back, some guys are just trying to keep their nose as clean as possible and whatnot, so, I mean... They're... I mean, yeah, look no farther than the 89. Craig Goodenough been kicking ass all race long. Whether he's been in the lead or a couple rows behind, uh, now he's outside row number one on the restart. Here comes Dustin Eaton to restart now. And pace struck down and out of the way as the green flag flies here once again side by side. Oh, now it's the sevens turn up on the outside lane to spin some tires and cause a little bit of a checkup throughout the field. 14 with a good restart down on the bottom side. 89 though trying to find that groove that the 14 had found up there on the uh, outside part of the racetrack. Not going to quite get it just yet as the uh, 14 is able Did to... lose Mr. Brown's uh, Discord there? No, I'm still here. You still here? Hello? Yeah, we got you now. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, it's starting to... Oh. Starting to get a little, little funky as the 55 and the 18 go to a battle here once again. 55 against the outside fence. Analea Tovar saying, did I miss fun facts? Not yet. Oh, yeah, the fun facts. We've had enough action that we haven't really had a chance to get any fun facts in there yet. Brown's saving that for the perfect time, I know. Yeah, my currently my fun facts bowl is currently empty. Oh, no. Ah. Lori. to make them up. It's the 434 and the 58 go battling side by side. Right behind them is the 74 and the 69. Same thing with the uh, 34 and uh, uh, 74. It's the 16 also getting involved in some racing action here with the 01 of uh, Kelly Keel. As, oh, big tire smoke and a big save. Goodness. 123's got a dented back tailgate there. I don't know if he's the one that caught the uh, ire of someone else. I think that was the purple and black truck. Man, it's a possibility here. It's the 82 and the uh, 68 of Dustin with an I. Dustin Wade continue to uh, go to battle. Now the 187 starting to make a move diving on down underneath the uh, 68 machine. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're getting a little fun here. Getting a, getting a little rhythm going, moving those hips. Whoa, I didn't that that's weird. Huh? Yeah, they're 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 moving like, their hips. They're they're feeling like the rhythm Shakira, of this place. Hey, you remember when Shakira did move her hips and it and it, it like made the world change, you know? Oh I know. That I was just great. Did it first, well I yeah, well I wasn't around for that, but also 
Elvis is uh, not Shakira. True. I, res I respect Elvis as a, you know, but. As a person. Yeah, I loved his music, but I mean, come on. I'm more of a Shakira oh. person. 23, come out of four and got really squirrely. Able to hang on to it. He drifted all the way down the front stretch. Ooh, 16! No! no! It's not a caution yet. He's below that that curbing. Yeah, he, he is off he the racing surface, around. but he can't turn around. There's just going to be a constant flow of traffic. Honestly, at this point, oh, Kyle, you no. might just want to tow because the, the it, traffic dude. traffic's not oh. going to stop. Ow. I just whip it out there and make somebody hit me. Well, you better. You well, better, he's going to uh, get a caution here. Is there? 66 is around. Same oh. situation. Oh, no. Backwards. No caution. 68, I'm sorry. Yeah, 68 of uh, Dustin Waits. Yeah, same thing. Except his back end was hanging out onto was, the racetrack. Uh, he, he high centered it on the curb. Uh, uh, 16 of Kyle Vaught still waiting. Oh, no. Kelly Keel. No. And there's your caution as Kelly spins on out coming out of the corner. Well, 16 lost several, a couple of laps there, didn't he? Yeah, he lost two laps waiting to try to turn around. I don't know, but John Curtis came over the radio and gave probably the best Canadian angry accent I ever heard in my life. What did he say? What did he say? Yeah, I don't know, but it wasn't like really mean or anything. It was just like, <laughs> I didn't dive bomb, yay. You know, something like that, you know. But it was a, it was great. Yeah. He was nice about it. Yeah. You know, nice Canadians. Go just ahead. a self-spin there for the... A one Akil, as he was trying to then uh, whip it right back around. Um, but man, I think that's the first time that I've ever seen people get stuck on the inside like that and not be able to either rejoin the track or anything like that as, man, pit road is going to get really busy as a lot of people are heading on down there. Yeah, it's time for tires and gas, I think, for most of these guys. The race has just crossed the halfway point. We're past the halfway? Yeah, man. Just, just past the uh, old halfway point as the 89 leaves pit road, giving up his really good starting position here way back down into 10th. As a, ooh, gotta be careful leaving pit road here. It's getting a little, little tight, merging traffic. Lori Vaught says uh, AAA has plenty of league cautions to talk about tonight. But I will try to bring up a pro and con topic for them shortly. Cool, maybe we can make a poll. I love the polls when we do oh, the yeah. poll questions. So maybe Lori can hook us up with like a poll. Yeah, she's, wor post. she's working on it. She's already mad at everybody here, so she's got time to put more stuff in her notebook. Sure. I don't know. How can you punch these guys for next week? You know, it does. I don't know how that would work. Eh, I don't know. It's the 69 of Larry Dickerson is going to be starting up here up at the front with the 34 of Nick Ramsey to his outside, 92 of Greg Klein, and the 19 of Jack the Ripper Dixon. All up inside of this top 10. Same with the 123 John Gallagher, 77 Jacob Young, 14 of Dustin Eaton, uh, Craig Goodenough. Albert Anderson and Timothy Pope will make up your uh, top 10 as we get ready to head on back to the green flag. I got an idea, English. Yeah. How we can shame these guys for next week. Okay. Lori can rank them as idiots for the week, and then they have to put it on their car somewhere. Idiot 1, idiot 5, idiot 10, whatever. I, you know, I think it's like going to happen differently. I think Lori's going to be writing in her diary tonight. Dear diary, I... <laughs> tried to calculate all the penalties but i ended up throwing my my legal legal sized uh, notepad into the fireplace and went to bed everyone's just going to get a clean start next week i don't think there's going to be any penalties oh i want people to be shamed for this sure we need that 
Game of Thrones shame bell. Shame. shame. There you go. It's the shame. It's a pa pace truck makes his way on down into a pit road side by side action here between the 69 and the 34 still side by side. This is going to be fun to watch. A couple of drivers that are aren't normally up here up at the front uh, thus far this evening. Having a good battle as a 34 up on that outside lane, trying to get a good drive off the corner, and he does. Able to get the pass working on the outside lane. 92, Greg Klein trickling into line. Same thing with the 19 of Jack the Ripper Dixon. Oh, oh shenanigans. No. Oh, no. In the 89 of Craig Goodenough gives up that great starting spot up there towards the front to come on down into the pits and find himself caught up in some of the action. I like the Game of Thrones shame thing, but... Maybe less nudity. I mean, oh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, no one wants to see that. Yeah. Especially from these drivers, is yeah, oh, just some, just very tight side by side action. It was actually some right side romance between the 99 and the 89. Looks like the 99 coming in maybe just a smidge hot and a smidge high gets into the uh, side there of the 89 to kind of break him free and loose. Oh, the 10 did all he could to uh, slam on the brakes, throw out the, um, air spoilers and everything to try to slow down and avoid that one. Stuck his feet through the floor more like Fred Flintstone, I think, trying to check up for that. Yeah, Larry Dickerson saying it's time for him to come on down and top up with fuel and maybe get some fresh tires. But Tim Pope coming over the radio, apologizing to Craig Goodenough, saying, "Hey man, I really didn't mean to turn you there." And Craig Goodenough says, "Hey man, that's that's what short track racing is. I don't blame you, bud." So they are good to go. They're going good terms. Yeah, no fight, Turner. No fighting. Why not? <laughs> I mean, that's part of the problem here. If they'd entertain me with some anger, they all are just like, "Oh, sorry, you know, sorry." I dive bombed you, you know, whatever they're talking about. <laughs> God. I, I mean, come on, man. At this point, I'd have already broken my steering wheel and maybe one of my screens. And I would have screamed at somebody and got booted from the league. You know? Probably. Yeah. I'm not arguing that. Uh, they, they, everybody here gets along. You remember back halfway through season one when uh, we had that crazy guy Turner with us? And yeah, got it screamed, you know. Remember, but Maybe not only me. Love your neighbor's goat, and he got booted. The, I know we talk about this, but that one league where we had a guy threaten him to come across state lines to beat a minor. <laughs> yeah. This was an adult. The kid was like sixteen, and they were had got into it. He threatened to come across state lines and just whip him. And we're not talking now about that, a minor as in somebody who goes in the ground and retrieves coal. No, we're like a, a juvenile. Kid. A kid. He was a smart aleck, but I mean, he was a kid, you know. What are you going to do? Go down there and beat him up? Cross the Ohio state line, you Ohio animals? Uh, oh, those, oh. Those, peop those people up oh. there scare me. Ohio people are built a little different. Well, be, talk about being built different here tonight. 89, Craig Goodenough now got his hands full. Going to be restarting back here in 23rd. Uh, joining us with the driver cam here tonight. Gonna try his best to slowly filter his way back up through this field as we get lined up back uh, side by side. we got one Ohio. Dustin Wade, I bet he'll admit to being an Ohio savage. You know? He'll admit, he'll, he'll own up to it. They're tough. They're tough people. They are a rough class of people. I guess they deal with those harsh winners, you know, and then they have people changing their baseball team's name for no damn reason. Gotta oh. be angry. As here we go with the 92 of Greg Klein and the 34 of Nick Ramsey starting side by side. Green flag racing here once again as the oh. they stay side by side. Anderson with a check. Oh, up no, there. 70. Oh, my goodness. That was very strange from the 77 of Jacob Young as we're going to have an absolute parking lot down there on the backstretch. I, man, it looked like someone just reached out and shepherd hooked the 77 on around just out of nowhere. It, it wasn't even like a one of those typical like spins you can kind of see coming coming out of the corner. 
Hey, Dustin Wade has manually disconnected. I told you, they get angry, them people. He wasn't, he didn't want no part of it. Oh, man. Oh, and look at that pile up after the 77. Yeah, 77 was starting to lose it. Coming out of turn number two, I think just getting up a little high and those tires all spinning around 28-7. Uh, I think the 33 of Vought just barely sneaks out underneath this he does same thing with a 23 of sean mcdonald 55 ricky wittenberg just bull moosed his way through it 18 of andrew player getting involved 99 of anderson 28 of rincon 84 to 43 79 oh man amanda wade says uh you know the 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 name changers are up north i think I think uh, oh. the Cincinnati Reds have been the Cincinnati Reds for 120 years or something. So, but what's I, yeah, I want to know the I know it's different there. Like they, the Southern Ohio people are different than the Northern and the Middle and the Western. And then there's like hatred in between. They not only they hate everybody else, they hate themselves. You know, it's it's strange what goes on there. I know they don't like Michigan either. Maybe she can help us on that. Well, who hates who in Ohio? And who's best in like a fist fight or something? Who's the, What's the toughest part of the state? Albert Anderson's pop and uh, mom and pop joining us now on the YouTube channel. Just got home. Pulling for Albert out there in the 99 Folgers machine. Of course, Albert involved in that wreck just now. I've been doing really good tonight, though. So uh, yeah. definitely uh, keep your eye on him there. Jacob Young admitted to that incident and said he ran out of talent there. Yes, it 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 happens. Love doing that, to, you know. It, English, you you weren't really ever a door bumper when you were driving a truck. You were more the grain stuff, but uh, you know when you show up to a dock and. Nobody's there, and they say, all right, go to dock number five, which is right in the middle of all of them, and then you go to back up, and then you completely missed it on a wide open, wide open apron. Catch hell on the radio if anybody saw you. You better take your radio off of 19 if, if you don't want to hear some teasing. Yeah, yeah. That's a... Here we go, base truck is down here. Gets a little rough as here we go once again side by side with the 92 and the 14 as the green flag flies once again. Here we go. Green flag racing down into turns one and two, bumping and beating and banging here as the 92 gets a good run on out of the turn, but so does up on the outside. The 14 of Dustin with a Y. They continue to race side by side. Seven and Timothy Pope in tow. Same thing with the 33. And we got a yellow. I wasn't going to stop you. You sounded so yeah, good, Brown. I, I was like, man, Brown is doing, he's finally like getting the rhythm. I'll oh, let him figure it out. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, oh. we yell, yellow flag, but he, he's yeah. going to catch it in a couple of seconds. Might as well just. Oh, uh, no. And I think let it, let it happen. Jacob Young. Oh. Truck just hmm. stepped around hey, on him. It just stepped yeah, out. Basically, almost the exact same as the last one uh, coming out at number two, just stepping out from. Underneath them there, 89 this time does get by. 01, 123. Ooh, 69 doesn't get by, though. He gets snagged up in it. And then uh, 77 tried to tow as quickly as possible as uh, the rest of the field was trying to make their way on by. And it looks like maybe the 77 uh, might be uh, calling it an evening here as well. Uh, you know. After yeah. self-reporting his loss of talent that... Apparently, during that caution, he was unable to find it again. It happens. Oh, yes. Amanda Wade says, uh, Dustin's kind of weird. He likes Michigan. It's a weird marriage, uh, him and Amanda. He doesn't like anything north of Columbus. 
See, that's the kind of stuff I like to hear. That, that makes sense. And then here we go. A Albert Anderson's pop out there saying, hey, Adam, what rating system you think uh, for the guys in the booth? Mm, what are we rating here? Our performance or the race performance? Our fan participation. Our fan, yeah. I don't know. I have to, am, I still, am I the only one stumped? What's he mean there? No, I'm like, right? are we using stars? I was going to say, I'm, I'm, I am trying to think back to what you were diatribing about. Oh, I've said so much stuff. I don't. Yeah. I might have said something. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh. R-rated, maybe? I, eh. I don't know. Oh, goodness. I don't know. They, I'm a little lost. They, they need a new rating somewhere between PG-13 and R. Oh, what do we call that then? Uh, I thought they had like the NC seventeen. Is that well? That's that's that after R? that's that's after R. Okay, I don't even know. Uh, oh, we 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 should call it PBR. <laughs> PBR. <laughs> My grandpa used to drink PBRs like they were uh, uh, Marlboro cigarettes. That was a popular beer. I think the yuppies and hipsters have brought it back. As here we go with the 14 and the 92 side by side, ready to head on back to that green flag. Got the 7 and the 33 side by side. As they head on into that Geico restart zone once again. Green flag racing here from Martinsville. That 92 and the Ooh. 14 going to battle Albert Anderson. No, oh, no, another quick yellow as Anderson goes around. Yeah, the 1, 2, 3 went around too. Gallagher. Look, it's hard here. Very All tough. Right. Oh, I, a bit of a checkup there. Looked like uh, something was happening in front of the 01 Achilles Kiel. Oh, God. Thank oh. God Lori's here to save us, too, after you're done with this. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Lori. Take us, take us away. <laughs> As yeah, all oh, the 123 was going in front of the 01 of Kelly Keel, and a big checkup happened. And oh man, that's that was some some roughage. And that's uh, unfortunately there for Albert was kind of caught up towards the back end of it and just really nowhere to go but sideways. Uh, so that's a fantastic question. Let me go ahead, and I can even we can even ask the fans out here what they think. Yeah, mm -hmm. ask the fans, and then we'll each have our opinion on on that question. That's a, that's a good question. English, what does it say? Is uh fast repairs? Yes or no? Oh, now I can't see it. Yeah. It, it, it took a second. So, for the fans watching, because, you know, this isn't uh, uh, real-life racing and uh, all that kind of stuff, uh, the iRacing simulation offers the availability of drivers, if they get some damage on their uh, race car or something like that, to come on down into the pits, and it instantly fixes their vehicle. After the amount of allotted fast repairs used up, then it's all just manual damage. You know, if you blow an engine, it's going to take 45 minutes to replace that or fix that or do other stuff. So it, uh, it it's definitely saves a little bit time out there. Now, the reason why they bring this up is because usually, not always the case, but usually, I, I would say probably 85 to 90% of the time, when you start to take away the option of availability for fast repairs, that is, uh, drivers have to be a little bit more careful while out on the track. Now, does it doesn't necessarily mean drivers aren't as racy, like, you, you'll still see some side-by-side, uh, -side, but it's, uh, the probability of cleaner racing uh, goes up a little bit. However, with that, it, whenever there is an incident, more drivers... Uh, kind of face the consequences of having to sit in the pits for longer. 
Yeah, well, and it doesn't always translate. It doesn't always no. uh, make for cleaner racing. I, I, these guys have one fast repair here. That's not a... Not a, a lot. Huge, that's not a lot. I mean, you get one freebie, and then you got to take care of your truck. So I don't know that one fast repair uh, is uh, so much different than not having any. It's 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 just like one freebie. I know we're starting again for the 20th time, but no, I think... No fast repairs, but at a super speedway, I would at least give you one. Cause that's yeah, oh, repair. no! The 92 gets into his teammate, the 33. Green flag still running as the 33 rides around on the apron, uh, able to uh, gather uh, his truck back up from underneath him there. Man, that was some teammate-on-teammate teammate violence like we haven't seen since back in 2020 at Pocono. Blind climbed his boss. That's not going to go well. <laughs> Wow, he hit Vought right in the door. That was the definition of a climbing as the 89 and the 72 go side by side. 89 with those fresh tires, man, getting a big run around the corner. Able to make a couple passes there on the outside ooh, lane. Ooh. Meanwhile, the 14 of Dustin Eaton starting to drive away from this one just a little bit. Number eight is stuck. Oh, 82 eight. goes around, and that will bring out the yellow restack. Everything back on up. Eight was having a problem, and he kind of got stuck on that. He high-sided it as he's trying to get back around. There's no. a couple of errors. There. Turn to exit, bites another as he gets a piece of the uh, 82 there. We can go ahead and take a look back here at the uh, eight of Edson Ocho. I know he probably doesn't want us to go and do this, but, ooh, going three wide. 99 of Anderson. Ooh, man, Anderson. That was a very clean, sneaky dive down through the inside, passing the 434 and the 8. I think the 434, recognizing that the 99 coming down low didn't, like we said earlier, didn't go as uh, low as maybe the 8 was expecting as the uh, 8 and the 434 make contact. Oh, 69 gets in contact there. Same thing with the 58, and then with the 8 trying to spin it back around. Oh, it's, it's like that um, that moment from, um, oh, what movie is that? The Austin Powers movie where he gets the golf cart stuck in the tunnel. Kind of kind of wedged in there. But, uh, just the unfortunate uh, situation there. As uh, our wonderful Miss Lori uh, said in uh, her uh, question, she also put this vote out to the league and no fast repairs won. However, going, let me, I got to do some scrolling here to find, uh, find that to pull question here again. Because I believe oh. it or not, uh, it was, it was all tied up. It was a. Uh, I mean, pull it up here. I got it. I I had to. Okay. There was you know dur during race day the the general chat over in the Discord, which is a very fun and uh, family uh, community over there, at uh, VRL in the Discord. Uh, the uh, scores were sixteen for no fast repairs and thirteen for keeping fast repairs. So it was a very close and split vote, which, looking at our poll out there, is exactly the same. Saying, should fast... Oh, is, you're right. It is opposite. My, opposite. My, my apologies there. But close. The 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 line is super close. But you know? it, it, yeah, ah. same, same deal. 58% saying yes, they should have a fast repair, and 41% saying no with the uh, full votes in there. Yeah, I think it being track dependent is important. Uh, I think one fast repair in a track like this is a good middle of the road, kind of middle ground. Uh, you know, if you put zero on a track like this, yeah, it, you're going to have half of your field quit, and I don't know. <laughs> Albert Anderson says, uh, who did you give the idiot rating to? <laughs> oh, I, I I don't know. That's what we need to find out. That's what he was talking about. Yeah, the shaming. They should, be, they should all be rated as idiots, but just one through thirty. Oh you know? no! 
as the oh. as the green flag waves once again the 14 and the 7 going at it side by side 7 not getting the best of restarts there also has some damage to that right side of the race truck so it and it definitely looked like the 7 having a little difficulty running that outside lane here this go around as the 23 Sean McDonald's able to sneak his way up underneath the 3 of Austin Paul same thing with that 55 Ricky Wittenberg Jonathan Osborne starting to peek his nose down into the action here as well and if we're uh, being honest with uh with each other it's probably us as idiots one two and three and then four four all the way through 30 would go to the that's true rest of the field is a 99 of anderson oh getting slippery and slidey same thing oh man who's that's alejandro gonzalez just trying to keep that truck from snapping up from underneath him I'll take the number one idiot if you guys want. Uh, oh, what happened oh, to the 43 and the 18? 18. Oh, I think so. The 18 was uh, and ended up spinning because of what happened here with the 43. Let's go ahead. But the, the 43 almost looked like he had a control issue or something with his. Uh, no, he got it. Never mind. Maybe. Oh, Let's no. He, it, oh, he slid. He slid through. He's sliding. He was sliding, sliding through the corner. Maybe just a, just a smidge too much speed. Now again, before this, it snapped go, on him. We, well, before this, we go back and look. You had the 18 of Andrew Player. Yeah, was starting to snap from underneath him. Snags the outside wall a little bit, causes a a little mayhem and confusion. But still, everybody racing. Then the 43. Oh, just slid up the track and the 18. Trying not to absolutely smoke him in the middle of the corner. Oh, no. And then there was some wrecking there afterwards with the 28 of Rincon. The silver bullet good wrench car. Mm. I get out of this chat window. I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know how to, I don't know how to use the chat thing. I'm, I wrote a on chat. A, you, on the YouTube? Oh. Uh, yeah, I wrote a chat, and then how do I get rid of this emoji thing? Uh, Probably... Oh, never mind. I got you, it. You got it? Okay. Uh, crisis averted. You, you got to be smarter than the YouTube. A lot of apologies happening on our air tonight. There's too cool. much love and not mate. That's an Ochoa yes. having problems with his uh, platform, it looks like. Uh, game freezing up. Or uh, something's going on with his computer, I think. Well, uh, and they're talking it out. They're not. They yell at each other, and then they talk it out, and they're. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, let's be, you know, let's be friends. It's, it's kind of nice, like, to have a. Instead of like I used to do in the fifth grade, I'd have, I fought this kid for a week in fifth grade. Every period of, uh, uh, you know, during the when the they rang the bell for recess, it was like rounds with this kid. He'd get me something. Sometimes we, every uh, three, four, five, however many periods we had a, a fighting or a recess, we'd fight, and there would be a crowd. I think those little kids were betting on it. Probably, I mean, definitely, probably would be. Yahtzee. Yeah. As, uh, That's oh, fun thank you. you could just fight back in the day. Yeah. I'm saying uh, thank you to uh, Panic Racing for saying this is more entertaining than the actual race on uh, Sunday. Well, See, just goes to prove we are better than NASCAR. Just, just a reminder to folks that at uh, the last time we came to Martinsville, uh, we did get copyright striked by NASCAR because it was too good. What happened there? Was it music or something we played? No, no, it was it, it was something to do with logos and sponsors, and it looked too similar to to the real thing. And that's the uh, pace truck peels off down and out of the way. Fourteen and the seven line on up side by side, and here we go. Green flag race, and once again, fifty-five. Ricky Wittenberg, man, he's been all over this top ten here tonight, showing some good speed out there and some. Good short track racing awareness as the 23 sneaks from underneath them. Uh, the 14 of Dustin Eaton able to uh, get out in uh, front and 
free of that seven to timothy pope here pretty quickly and early 89 craig good enough going three wide in the middle between the 187 and the 81 34 is going to sneak his bumper up in there gets into the back of the 187 who does hold it down there on that bottom side but the yellow flag comes on out alejandro gonzalez gets it whipped back around after the field passes on the front stretch hey oh, another truck having to whip it around i what did you do, say comments by me don't reflect everybody else Oof. what did i say to to do that i don't know i just got it i got it in my uh so where i can just hit control v oh. and watch this bam there it goes i figured it'll come in handy <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just like control v bam oh my now and then there was a pile up after yeah. After that, it looked like the 90, 92 of Klein getting into the back of the uh, 79 as there was a little bit of a checkup heading on down the front straightaway, and then the little bit more of a checkup as the 19 was going sideways with the 72, and then the 92 gets into the back of the 74, so a two for one special for Mr. Klein. Klein is Klein and everybody out there tonight. I don't... Uh, well, I, this time, I think it was more of a he couldn't see what was going on in front and everybody just yeah. started to stop in front of him. And not not a turn steering wheel left into teammate situation. Well, I know he's got a cruise coming up, so, I mean, he's like, well, I'm going to be away on is a cruise. He? Might as well wreck some people right. before well, I leave. He, you know what it is? He's probably angry because of said cruise. Uh they got their tide reports wrong and we're not going to be able to leave Vancouver in time so they had to take away one of our ports so we're which port? When is, when Sit is uh, Sitka, Alaska oh, oh, oh man you gotta watch out for the Grizzlies hey I think I, well not on the cruise ship shouldn't be any Grizzly Bears on the cruise ship well, they can jump up on there. Don't kid yourself. Have you ever seen one of those things? Polar bears, eh? <laughs> it's like a orangutan on steroids. Hey, I like what uh, Dustin Wade said. Wade said, I love Martinsville, but I'd rather played with hand grenades and a wood chipper in this one. <laughs> and that's a dangerous game. Sure. Mm -hmm. But speaking of uh, orangutans on steroids, you got that 14 of Dustin with a Y up at the front. It's been uh, really uh, starting to feel the flow of this racetrack as we're closing in on the final 50 laps here from Martinsville. I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen here towards the end. I. I it, it's impossible to predict. Of course, Pope is up there like he usually is. Check out Ricky Wittenberg. He's going to be restarting outside row number two. Ricky, I know this uh, track is near and dear to his heart. He's going to ha he's having a blast out there in that Pepsi, that customized uh, Pepsi paint. And going to be trying his best to uh, figure out uh, a way around here. As everybody gets all lined on up side by side behind the pace truck here once again. Dustin Eaton needs a win after that terrible uh, internet problem. Was he winning this thing? I don't even know what's uh, happening yeah, in the race. He's out in front right now as the green flag flies here once again, getting as good of a restart as he possibly can to get out in front of that 7 of Timothy Pope, who again, still dealing with some of that uh, damage on that 7 machine, just not able to get the restarts on that outside lane like we saw earlier in this race. 23, Sean McDonald having a good battle here. You got the uh, 3 and the 55. All making some moves. The 10 of Andrew Cawthon making some moves here as well. Oh, some dragging of the break there for the 187 and the 10. Some contact was made. 34 and the 89 going side by side. Chachi had some problems on that restart as well, but the 81 has got it gathered mm. back up. He lost a couple spots, but he's good. Wow. It's like the Wild West out here. Thank you. Look at Anderson diving around on the outside, trying to get around the 10. Folger's truck is pretty quick on the high line. 
And that it is. Trying to get that uh, run to stick, and uh, looks like he got a little bit some space now. Not quite enough to uh, get completely clear of the 10 machine. 89, and Craig Goodenough still on up there. As uh, Dustin Eaton running fastest lap of the race thus far, 19.72. Uh, flying around out here. I think the track temp is starting to cool down a little bit as the sun starts to set. That and clean air, you know, he can run wherever he wants out there. There's nobody in front of him, nobody. Oh, oh no! no. Scott Howell! Murder, death, kill machine. Hey. Oh. Murder, death, kill. Hey. Yeah, MDK. He definitely got uh, MDK down there. Let's go ahead and uh, see what happened just to, oh a self-spin in the middle of the corner 99 and the 10 nowhere to go get bottled up in it what about the mtk that was, that guy's kind of scary what he did you know you talking about btk oh is it btk yeah the guy that rolled <laughs> yeah, around cereal. kansas he's rolled around <laughs> kansas murdering women for years I'm talking about the the innocent uh, oh. movie that Scott Howe might not have even seen, Demolition Man, but yeah. that's where I got the 187 uh, Murder, Death, Kill thing. That was in a couple of rap songs, too, in the 90s oh, or it? 80s. Yeah, 187 on the Undercover Cop. That, that was the whole thing. What? That's in a rap song. I forget the song. All right, hang on a second. What? Control V. Enter. No, that was in a rap song. I, d I wouldn't condone that. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just trying to say, you know, like American history type of stuff. You're going to get me canceled. No, man, it was funny. Got the oh. 16 of uh, Kyle Vaught and the 8 of uh, Edson Ochoa running their driver cameras here tonight, as well as the 72 of Chan the man everybody all trying to line up and get around the pace car here Greg Dobson making his way on down into the pits uh, happy to have you here with us uh, Jacob Young also has his driver came on up but uh, has uh, called it a evening thus far and uh, so does Andrew Player unfortunately for Andrew with uh, I don't know if he's got a piece of tape or something over his camera here tonight but uh, and just got the old uh, black screen staring at me. All right. I got a serious question right now. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Do you think Lori and Jess are in, like, separate rooms? Or are they, like, next, their computers, like, right next to each other? And Jess looks at her, and, and she's like, I got you. You know? and Or she looks at him, and they just get mad together about this race. Or is just Lori in a whole nother room, like, watching Golden Girls and doing the race and doing her thing? <laughs> she's crocheting and watching Golden Girls. I'm she's so already, sorry, she's Lori. Already I'm sorry, her. Lori. I, I, know, I know that you watch Golden Girls. I, I shouldn't. Hang on. Hang on. Control it's, me. It's the button again. I don't know why I thought of Golden Girls. I love Golden Girls. I don't know. Yeah, she's doing cross stitch and That's you. I never right, said she was doing the... cross stitch. She's paying attention oh, to the race. I got in some trouble, bro. <laughs> I Lori, you know I'm teasing. Please don't take any offense to that. It was just virus trying to be trying to be funny. So fourteen and the seven get lined on up side by side. Fifty five and the twenty three lined up right there behind them. Will Timothy Pope figure out what's going on with his truck that he's going to be able to get a better restart here? Yes, he does a little bit. Let's see how he works on that outside lane. No, not quite good enough there. It's going to trickle back into line, though. A pretty solid second position there for Pope as the 55 and the 23 continue to go to battle side by side. Ricky Wittenberg working that outside lane like a madman here. Ooh, got one up against the outside fence. I think that's the 19 -a. Jack the Ripper Dixon as the uh, side-by-side action continues on here with the 34 sitting right behind the 23 and the 55. Ooh, 55 saw the door open just a little bit. It's able to sneak his truck on down and uh, finally get back to the race line he's more comfortable with. 
89 having a good run here. He's kind of stuck down there on the bottom as the 99 of Anderson tries to work to the outside here of the three of Austin Paul. Some good battles here inside of this top 10. Moving outside of the top 10 a little bit. You got the 33 of Jess Vought stuck in some traffic with the 18, 84. Got oh, the no, 43 there. Around. Oh, goodness. This track is a meat grinder. I'll say it again. I think I, it's broken me tonight. Well, an impressive uh, spin around by the 19. I'll say that a little bit of a power break in there. He was able. Jack Dixon was able to turn that truck on a dime oof. to get it straightened back out. Go ahead there, bud. Hey, just <clears throat> hard contact there. 99 of Anderson. Uh, slipping and sliding, coming out of turn number four. Tried his best to save it. Just again, not a lot of room here with the traffic and all those walls. Not quite, and uh, yeah, just not quite. Quite enough room for America's driver to save that one. As uh, we're gonna, by the time we get back to the green flag here, we're gonna be inching our way towards uh, inside of 30 laps to go. And uh, that starts to bring out, uh, uh, it's going to be a tough ask. But do you think we will finish this one in regulation, or do you think we will go to a GWC? I just pray for a rain. I'm just praying for rain. It's like a poll question. I'm not sure. Ava not. says uh, Lori's just probably cleaning her gun. That's probably too, but she could clean her gun, do this race, and watch a television program. You know? Yeah, she's watching her programs. Uh... Ooh. Definitely see. Uh... <laughs> Lori's chiming in on something here. Oh. I hope not, please. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna cuss at us or at the race. I don't know. Uh, I think the I think the control. overall answer with that one is yes. 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 All of us. Yeah. Are we in trouble too? Did I put us I in the doghouse on this? Sorry, guys. I did the disclaimer. We should be okay. Yeah. Okay. If I need to be like sit down for a first half of next week's race, I'm okay with that. Or the whole thing. If you need to suspend me, I'm I'm open for it. I I know when to admit my mistakes. Do I need to paste the no. thing again? No, you don't. Okay. Right. What are you doing? Nothing. I see it. Field tries to get all lined up back here uh, once again, but I and the pace truck get ready to head on back to the green flag. Let's go ahead and talk about some uh, movers and uh, shakers here now that we're closing in on the uh, final few laps. Three of Austin Paul up 15 spots. Ten of Andrew Cawthon up 25 spots. Both drivers inside of this top ten. Jonathan Osborne and Jess Vaught both in 11th and 12th. Both up 15 and 16 spots. Having uh, a pretty good run right now. Uh, Craig Goodenough, who uh, started this race all the way up there, up at the front, still lurking around inside of that top 10. Also got uh, uh, Albert Anderson and Josh Bittner both down double digits on the evening thus far, but still a few racing left to go. As uh, here we go, getting all lined on up. Double file. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this shakes out here in the last uh, little bit less than 30 laps. Be a good show. And that indeed it will be as here we go into that Geico restart zone. We go with the 14 and the 7 side by side. Green flag racing once again. That 14, a very, very good restart there. The 55, Ricky Wittenberg down on the bottom side trying to get clear of the 23. He does. The 7 starting to finally find some runs out there on that high side. Just not enough as the 14 is able to squeak on by 23. Three of Sean McDonald going to battle with another friendly Canadian there. The 34 of Ramsey. You got the 89 of Goodenough trying to figure out a way to get through all this traffic. 28 of George Rincon side by side with the 10 of Andrew Cawthon as Jonathan Osborne and Jess Vaught battle side by side. Yes, yeah, side by side back here with the 81 and the 33 as well. 
Chachi's been running that high line a lot of, a lot of the time here tonight. Ooh, slow one down down near the barrels. I think that's Albert Anderson. Yeah, I think he just came out of the pits there. Trying to blend back in. Wasn't quite up Ooh. to speed yet. Ooh, contact between the 33 and the 81. 81 blinking out a little bit. Hey, just a little bit. Able oh. to uh, keep those noses pointing in the right direction, though. So uh, those drivers definitely uh, working the wheel really, really hard. Harder than the... Real Mrs. Poindexter out there as the 18 right behind him. Andrew Player trying to filter his way through some traffic. Oh, no, Alejandro Gonzalez going around. Same thing with the 16 of Vought. And, oh, man. And then uh, looks like a purple machine there uh, getting caught up in it as well. I think that might have been Kevin Hunt. Did see a little contact the uh, last couple of laps uh, with uh, Larry Dickerson there. So we go back and uh, kind of watch what happens here with the 16 and the 434. Kevin Hunt, oh, the 16. He saw the caution happening and tried to get on the brakes and slow down and ends up spinning out himself. Same thing with the 434. They kind of did opposite things. 434 got loose and came down the track. Uh, 434 got uh, tight and went up the track. Got a little flip-flop of positions there. A little secondary... Action after uh, the 79 just looked like he overcooked it. I mean, we've all done that at Martinsville, just run it in a little bit hot. And he was already, it looked like he was in the gas and saw some smoke coming from the rear tires and they could just spun him. And this time, with a overwhelming majority, 85% of people saying yes, they expect a green white checker finish here to finish tonight. We've only got the one chance at one yep. here in Vigilante Racing League, so it's one and done. If 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 they use it, that'll be the only shot. And it'll be race over, thank goodness, because if you use three of those things, you know, especially once you get into like super speedways and stuff like that, you start using three green white checkers, hey, you might as well tack on another twenty minutes to the race. But uh, I don't know. These guys could finish this thing clean at lap 200. We'll we'll have to see. Lori Vaught, fun fact, had a bet tonight on cautions. Uncle Dave guessed 14. Jess guessed 25. Kelly guessed 29. Kyle guessed 27. Closest without going over. So Kinda prices, like price is yeah, right. Price is uh, right style. So. As of right now, then, so I, uh, Dave is currently uh, currently winning that one, but uh, got a couple more than uh, Jess might win it. Where are we at? 13-ish? No, we're over 20. Oh, we're over 20. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I got oh, back at the right time. This, this is yeah, caution number 21 for the record. Ooh. I love that. Now we're having fun with it tonight. These guys do not race like this. Disclaimer. To next week, they're gonna. It's gonna be amazing. This track is super hard, and the track's hot. Correct, dude. It's the I, I don't want to sit here and make fun of everybody, right? Because it's not really how these guys run. But when they're having a race like this, and they've had them before, we just try to have fun with it. We go with the race, and please don't take it as this is how all the races are. But I think most people here have been with us for a while they know as yeah, the lights on the pace uh truck turn on off the 14 and the 7 gonna line up side by side 55 34 23 and the 89 are your first couple of rows as the pace truck makes that dive on down into a pit lane here once again as we get ready to go back to some green flag racing here from Martinsville. Ooh, a little bit of a delayed start there between the 14 and the 7. The 55, I think, was ready to go and had to get back out of the throttle because the 14 was still sitting there as they go off side by side. 7 working his magic all along that outside wall, trying to get the pass made here on the 14 and get back to the inside. Just will not be in time. The 55 
uh, gets free and clear of the 34. So now that leaves the 89 of Craig good enough trying to sneak on down. No, here comes the 34 with a run on the outside lane. Big wreck, 123, 72, and the 92 all involved in that one. 187 also, MDK. Go ahead, take a It's like player took credit for that. Go ahead, bud. And, oh, just some contact there. It looks like a kind of one of those accordion effect things. Uh, it looks like the 18 was getting into the back of the 33 as traffic was slow in the corner. And then, yeah, just really 74, 01, 92, the 72, the 123 all getting piled on up. Same thing with the 19. 84 able to shimmy his way on out of it. Yeah, it looked like hey, the geez. 16 of uh, uh, Vought got caught up in it towards the end. 72 of uh, Chan the man, Chandler Paul, he caught it from a couple different people. I think he got hit on three different sides of that truck. Man, well, he is racing the WWE paint scheme, so he was getting... Uh, oh, I love that, too. Like a, like a cage match out there. Man. Getting... I liked Hell in a Cell. That was a fun one. Yeah, they still do it, I think. Do, do they? they? I don't know. Look at this. They put him in a jail cell or something? Yeah, they just cage him in. And they just... It's pretty wild, actually. Oh. Pretty fun. You know, I had uh, had one of those. Uh... A cell in your basement? No. No, I, when I went to uh, when WWE was uh, up up here in New Hampshire, they 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 had one of those matches, and then, it, mm -hmm. as is uh, inevitable, there uh, Turner it, it went on out into the stands, and I was probably about ten feet away from uh, from uh, Kane. Oh, really? Yeah, they walked uh, walked right by me. Oh man, that had to have been pretty doing their random. fake fight. It's it's one of those things where it's like. Uh, in the ring and everything, these guys look look huge. And I mean, I'm you know I'm not sh short or anything like that. You know, I'm like six three, six four on a good day if I got my stretches in. You know, but uh, then here comes Kane. This guy's like six seven, and I'm looking up at him. It's like Ugh, I don't want to mess with him. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason they're uh, in WWE, yeah. and they've got about 150 pounds on me too. So that didn't. Yeah, it looks like he ate two of you, probably. Uh, yeah. Well, they put on a good show. I mean, oh yeah, it was it was a good. Time. You, you, I think everybody now had to knows wear the red costume thing, the was it the mask. Yeah, that oh that was his, like uh yeah, and then Alter once when he ego. took yeah, once when he took the mask off and came a a different different person. I saw Steve uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin Shiner one time. I was just amazed. I met Hacksaw Jim Duggan one time in Shreveport. Oh, I love that guy. He wasn't carrying it, a two before though. It was there I was his eyes still crossed? <laughs> no, I don't remember, man. We we're standing in line at like a, a gas station buying sodas or something. Okay. I think he did that for part of his little deal. Probably. He played football at SMU now. Do you really? You remember when it was him? Versus Dr. Death Steve Williams, who played football at the uh, University of Oklahoma. Well, he is two, from Freeport, yeah. They had a rivalry. Dr. Death's from Freeport. Is he? He played at SMU. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mid-South Wrestling. They'll teach you everything in about 1979 to 1985. Yeah. So we get ready to go. Going to be 11 laps to go once and we cross that start-finish line here once again. This time it's going to be the 14 and the 55. Ricky Wittenberg starting to the outside of Dustin Eaton here. Going to try to challenge the 14 on these restarts as the uh, 7 of Timothy Pope comes on down into pit lane. And here we go. The 14 off to a great restart. 34 sees a little bit of a hole there with the 55. Going to try to sneak that front bumper down and in, which he does. So it's going to be side-by-side -side battling for a second. 89 of Craig Goodenough just going to wait in line, waiting for his turn to sneak around as a, some contact there between the 34 and the 55. 
Uh, 34 still in that position away, but here comes that 55 looking right back down low. Just barely gets that bumper to the 34. Oh, and then has to give up the run. He was getting a little, little too close for comfort. 84, Josh Bittner battling with the 18 and the 10 machine back here just outside of the top 10. 81 of Jonathan Osborne right in front of him side by side with the 43 and the 33 with the 82 having a good battle. 28 of George Rincon uh, up there as well trying to run his laps and get free and clear here with nine laps left to go josh bittner still going side by side with that 10 our fan fantastic battle between those drivers same thing with the 82 and the 33 as they head on down the front stretch very very crowded out there on the track still with not too many uh laps left here to go don't be surprised we see another parking lot situation there it is. And there we go. I didn't see where that happened. Uh, right around Mayberry getting all turned around. Uh, after uh, an incident early on in the race, Mayberry having a pretty clean race. Haven't seen him involved in too, too much there. Oh, no. It looked like he was a victim of circumstance as the 58 was up against that outside wall. Spun coming back down off of it and Mayberry hard into that uh, inside wall there. Yeah, wrong place, wrong time there for Mayberry. The 58, Robert Chipman just... Uh, we've all been there. Just bounce off that wall. Don't mean to come back down into traffic or anything, but I mean, it, it happens. It, it, and I don't think it was one of those like we've seen where the wall kind of shoves the truck back down the track. I think that was a case of he was trying actually to keep it up towards the wall, but those back tires just got loose and uh, kind of forced him down and a little, little sideways. So unfortunately, nowhere to go for Mr. Mayberry is... Uh, 74 is Zachary Halladin saying he's calling it a night. Uh, got a pass a uh, drive-through penalty uh, after that uh, last caution, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, I'm probably not going to make up any more positions here, so I'm just gonna just gonna call it an evening as we're uh, closing on into it." I don't know if we're going to uh, go into bonus time on this restart or if we uh, see another one. It's kind of I like racing one of those 50 50 calls. Yeah, iRacing still has it as a uh, normal restart, but every time we cross the start finish line here, it could change. It... I think we're going to have a GWC before the GWC here, Mr. English. A lights out yet? Uh, no, the, the the lights are still on. We're at four laps to go, so the next time they go around will be three laps to go. And I think that's when they will get all lined on up, so. But we will see. Will the 14 of Dustin Eaton be able to hang on here up at the front? 34, Nick Ramsey has been very racy on that outside lane. He could possibly challenge the 14. Ricky Wittenberg, he could pick up some of the leftover pieces here and sneak his way on up. To a win. Same thing with the 89 of Craig Goodenough. All drivers having a fantastic run, but don't count out that 7 of Timothy Pope or the 23 of Sean McDonald either, because some uh, some craziness could happen here up at this front, and some uh, drivers might be able to sneak their way on through as here we go. Going to have ourselves a green-white checker before bonus time to end our regulation as the lights on the pace car turn on off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if, if Ricky Wittenberg uh, gets over his excitement after the end of this race, he's going to be fact-checking our uh, wrestling knowledge on the internet here because he is a historian. Oh. Yeah, he knows way more than us. And indeed he does. As there we go. Green flag is out in the 14, getting a great restart down there on that bottom side. 34 trying to get back up to that bumper, not quite able to. He's going to get free and clear of some of this mayhem and uh, hold on to that first spot as they turn around turns three and four. 55, Ricky Wittenberg trying to keep it clean, but race that 34 hard as they cross the white flag, finishing this one in regulation no matter what as the 
34 and that 55 continue to go to battle. Meanwhile, the 14 of Dustin with a wide Dustin Eaton. A little bit of extra space behind that back bumper and nobody with a run comes on home and picks up the race win here from Martinsville. Nick Ramsey and Ricky Wittenberg make up your podium. A fantastic run for that 89 of Craig Goodenough and the 7 of Timothy Pope as well. A pretty great finish there from the top five competitors uh, all within about a second of each other. Beautiful, oh, beautiful finish. Redemption oh. for Dustin Eaton. Yeah, and he's going to complain about this one. But, hey, he needed to win. He, he was earned one earlier, so this one counts just as much. But I feel like I just got punched in the face, you know? Like, wow. I knew. Like, I racing just slapped me right in the face. Oh. Yeah, do y'all don't feel that? Is that just me? No, Look I, here, we got a Canadian in the number two position. Hey, Mr. Absolutely, Mr. Nick Ramsey, having that fantastic run. Awesome! I can't wait to. Do you have any Canadian questions for him? Do you think he races with the metric system, like he puts liters in there, or do they put gallons in the car? Sure, we may have to ask him that very question. We may. Yeah, we'll might say be an option. I don't know. Uh, uh, for hardest uh, charger of the race, it is tied between the 33 of Jess Vaught, up 18 spots, and the 10 of Andrew Cawthon, up 18 spots. Dang, boy's doing a good job of passing a bunch of other trucks. And Jess Vaught uh, having that uh, penalty early and having to start uh, way from the back, doing a great job fighting his way up to the front. That's Catch a... that uh, message there, uh... Yes, sir. We got right. a message. Oh, yeah, we, we, got, we got ourselves a message, and we can start these driver interviews on off, and we can start them with... Let me make sure I pull him on up. Everything working? Yeah, now everything's working. We can start off with tonight's Spotlight Driver of the Day and your Poll Award winner, Mr. Craig Goodenough, driver of the 89 machine with a fantastic drive out here. Craig, I know a little bummed not picking up the win. You were looking very strong at a track where track position is really the biggest key to this place. But, uh, man, a solid fourth place finish here tonight. Yeah, it was really fun. I, I had a blast. Me and Ian probably put... I don't know, three, 400 laps of practice in on this. So it was fun to go out there, put the fastest lap down and then run up front for a little while and then got a little into a few people, but nothing too bad. And then started working my way through the field. So it was pretty good. Well, we've been watching you run, you know, near the front or in front a whole hell of a lot this season. Um, and uh, it's just a matter of time, bud, before uh, you pick up that first win. But n could it be next week? Could it be at Texas? Uh have you run much there, and how do you feel about that track, and uh, do you think uh, yeah. you might pick a win up there? Yeah, I run uh, quite a bit at Texas. I ran, uh, what was it, yesterday, when, ran uh, or won, uh, what is it, official race, won that, so that was good. So nice. we should run half decent. Um, I've been branded with good enough, so I'm not great enough, so hopefully good enough will get us a win, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Oh. Man, he, that's your name. We love it. It's It actually is a, it's a cool name. And don't hurt yourself tonight because you you still got fourth place, man. Good job tonight. And uh, I, we're looking forward to Texas. That's my home track, so I, I think you'll do well there. Fun track uh, to as a, for a driver, the way they reshape right. it and stuff. But who would you like to give some shout-outs to? Well, of course, everybody that puts on VRL, Jess and Lori, and everybody that puts effort into it. Even old Bay Mayberry puts a little effort in, so that's good for him. Um, hey, everybody yes. that's watching, um, all those guys that are watching me, the neighbor, um, my dad, my the wife, everybody that puts up with me racing this, uh, just shout out to those guys. Awesome, man. Well, great job here tonight. Your fourth place finisher. Pole Award winner and Spotlight Driver of the Day, Mr. Craig Goodenough, driver of the 89 Machine Man. Congratulations on the solid run here tonight, and good luck coming up here next week at Texas, buddy. Hey, thank you guys very much. Have a good one. With that, we will 
move on up to our podium and talk with tonight's third place finisher. And that's going to be the 55 of Mr. Ricky Wittenberg fighting his way through the madness to pick up the third place podium spot. Ricky, congratulations. We saw you work in both lanes here tonight, getting some passes on the low side, getting some passes on the high side. Looked like you were pretty comfortable no matter where you ran. Yeah, guys, I was I was doing everything I could um, tonight. I put a lot of practice in for this race. And, you know, I, I told you last week I was going to whip them and uh, my my butt wrote a check that uh, my mouth couldn't cash or, or, whatever, or whatever that <laughs> or, saying or is. Or vice but, versa, yeah. Yeah, or, or whatever. <laughs> Either way, it, either way, I, I didn't whip them, but uh, they knew I was there, and I got the top, I got the top three, so I'll, I'll take it though. You had one hell of a run though, man. I, I, you know, you restarted a couple times up in the front row, uh, and the restarts were really a bear. You know, it depended on. Uh, we saw Craig Goodenough had so many great restarts, and then we saw uh, Pope get up there and start to kind of figure it out. And then he made a pass on the outside, and that's kind of when there was blood in the water, and people knew. Well, now you can now you can on the restarts you can kind of try to pass on the outside. So, uh, is that kind of what you saw up front when when you were up there on those restarts? Was it really a timing thing? I mean, you're supposed to the leader's supposed to control it, but uh, did you see any kind of gamesmanship up there? No, not really. It, it kind of reminded. I mean, we were. There's so many wrecks on restarts, and I expected it. It's it's almost like drag racing, where you know that you're trying to race to the turn almost. Because yeah. if caution comes out and you beat the guy, either inside or outside, you're you're you just keep stair stepping up. If we would have, if we would have been fortunate enough to have a long green flag run, um, if you set your car up right, you could kind of dime in the middle of the corner and roll about two grooves off the bottom and, and still be really fast. So I knew the high line had potential to be fast, but you have to, you have to be really careful up there because if you gun it too hard out of the corners, you're going to light your tires up and, and spin towards the inside and cause a lot of chaos for other guys. Well, I, I don't think we're going to get a YouTube award or anything for our broadcast, but we, we did talk some wrestling if you want to peruse through there and, critique our take on some and, wrestling and correct oh yeah because i'm sure yeah, yeah but we had some fun but i mean we ha always have fun with you guys even if it's a race like this it sometimes it gets a little nutty so we get nutty but hey got yourself a p3 who'd you like to give some shout outs to yeah the the league obviously jess and Lori, you guys are always doing a good broadcast i mean i know tonight it was probably like nails on a chalkboard for you guys too but um you know, it's uh, it's it's the nature of the beast. Martinsville's just a tough track, and some some people, it's, they're not even doing it on purpose. They just overdrive the corners, or a guy breaks too early, and stuff happens at Martinsville. But um, yeah, and a shout out. I had a really really fun couple of battles with uh, Andrew Player and uh, Craig Goodenough. Hopefully that made for something on the broadcast because uh, I was racing my guts out a couple of times where we actually had a few few green flag laps and um once again uh, continued prayers for some people i know there's a lot of people hurting and there's something i don't want to get into tonight but there's there's definitely some some other people in the league that can use our prayers too so um just uh i'm not gonna talk big and talk smack tonight that's uh i had fun um at the end of the day it's you know life is more important than just this stupid game but I, i'm still glad i finished third in the stupid game tonight and that indeed you did as the 55 Ricky Wittenberg finds his way onto that podium here tonight, man. Congratulations. Definitely uh, soak this one in for a little bit, and then we'll see you back out here in action next week. And good luck over there at Texas, buddy. All right. Thanks, guys. That we will move on up the podium here and talk to tonight's second place finisher, a man who was uh in it around it and everywhere all about it the 34 mr nick ramsey coming on home in second place here tonight nick congratulations that was a one heck of a drive and you you literally had pretty much everything thrown at you you got beaten up you were driving hard up at the front it, it was just a whole mixed bag for you <laughs> that was some white knuckle driving you're right. Everything seemed to happen around me, whether I do it to myself at the start or just trying to get through the field. 
It was all around me, but hey, it was fun, and we ended up at the front. So overall, good night. Well, the uh, that rowdy machine's going to be back next week uh, at Texas Motor Speedway. A uh, lot bigger track, a little bit more room to run, a lot more banking uh, than you'll see here. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. But talk about you know the 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 kind of racing that y'all are used to up there where you're from in in Ontario. Uh, a lot uh, there's a lot of short good short tracks I know. Uh, up that direction is that mainly the kind of racing you've been into during your life or uh you know have you have you have you spent much time at any bigger speedways so i run a a street stock and it's all short tracks like we're half mile track every week um drives kind of like martinsville it's tight but long straightaways and it's it's similar you got to get up on the wheel and yeah we end up leaning on each other and you use the bumper so it uh, it kind of showed tonight. You know, I can put those skills to work and kind of pick through the field. Now, does that ever get you in trouble when you get back to the pits after a race? Be honest now, because I've seen a lot of those situations down in the American South where you know a guy will do what you just said, and then maybe he's uh, met by uh, not a, such a friendly audience when he gets back to the pits. Uh, you ever <laughs> run into that? It gets me in trouble all the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so can't lie to you I, there. I have one dumb question for you, Nick. Do you is there like a calculation where you do you use liters or do you use gallons? Because you're in Canada and don't y'all use metric system? When it comes to racing, we yeah. use gallons. Okay, see, okay, that makes it easier then. But so every to... everything else, like our street cars and everything, is going to be liters. Well, how do you have the brain power? That means you're like extra smart to figure that yeah. out. Oh, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, congrats. And who'd you like to give some shout outs to? Thanks. Uh, you know, big shout out to my team, as always. All Star Racing. I mean, you know, frustrations get high in races like this, but we're all able to, you know, talk through a lot of things and keep each other calm. Awesome, man. Well, big congratulations to tonight's second place finisher, Mr. Nick Ramsey, driver of the 34 machine, man. Congratulations. Great running out there here tonight and good luck coming up here uh, next week and the rest of the season, buddy. Thanks, guys. And with that, we get to talk to a man who we should have talked to a couple of weeks ago, but his internet holds out for this one. Mr. Dustin with a Y, Dustin Eaton, having a fan, Ooh. yeah, having a fantastic run here, bobbing and weaving his way up through this field to pick up the race win from Martinsville. Man, congratulations! One heck of a drive to avoid all the calamity. Oh man, one heck of a caution line, right? Uh, I wish we would have had more greens on that and a little more running, but. Uh, it definitely felt good. If uh, if any track I thought I was going to get it at this season, I didn't think it was going to be this one. So kind of glad for it and unfortunate that it's the first. Yeah, you know, I'm glad the Internet held out there. Well, when I saw old boy disconnect the 77, I, I started wondering if it was going to do me too. And uh, But we got it done, man. It kind of, again, sorry for you guys, and I'm sure you had to improvise a lot uh, under them cautions. So glad glad that's over for you, but. Just wish it would have been a little more green flag, flag race, and I uh, advocated for the short tracks pretty well, and then uh, I don't know that I'll do so next season. I mean, I love them, love to race them, but man, it's uh, it's tough getting some long runs in. We love watching them, too. I mean, that's just the roots of NASCAR, and we just talked to Nick Ramsey about, you know, he runs street stocks up north of the border, and you know, it's all it's all short tracks up there, so I mean, it's a, it's a passion for a lot of people, and I'm glad there's advocates out there that uh, that that uh, pull for including them in the schedule. But tonight, you know, the number 14 was really quick. Uh, I loved seeing the 74 Robert Jordan uh, tribute on the hood there, buddy. Yeah, man. On that Toyota. And uh, uh, great job here tonight. Just persistence, right? It's survival. I, you know, I, I said it a couple of times tonight, called this track a meat grinder. And that's that's basically what it is. You know, it's it's all about survival out there and, um, you did what you had to do and you held on and picked up the win. Congrats. 
Well, I, I did have a leg up. I, you know, I failed to let this secret out before. But if you look out of turns four and, and turns two, I, I posted the number fourteen on the wall. So it, it was going to be me anyway, man. I kind of predestined that that, that way. And, <laughs> um, the persistence is great. I mean, battling up with Tim Pope up there on the outside is never easy. You know, he's a he's a hell of a racer, man. And you know, Nick Ramsey. I know Ricky practices butt off for this, and he was right behind me. Um, so a lot of good guys, you know, they, they, I mean, Jess, I saw him, you know, I got to give a shout out to him real quick. Cause I saw him come up right behind me into like fourth at some point and got turned right off the next restart or two restarts later. And he didn't qualify you know, either, you know, he, no. And he had a drive through right at the beginning. So, yeah. I mean, he, he fought all the way back up there just to get it taken from him at the end again, man. And, you know, it's unfortunate. And, you know, we're talking about going over to like the, uh, no fast repairs or, or you know whatever they might be everybody's voting on it and stuff but um again i don't know it, it situations like that you know jess worked his butt off just to get taken out again and you know it's heartbreaking for some of those fellas well it wasn't heartbreaking for you tonight you finally Absolutely. you got your uh win that you actually you won at coda but you got interneted that yeah day. So this yeah. one counts counts just the same Who'd you like to give some shout outs to? Well, Jess and Lori. Lori mostly. I know Lori, uh, she sat here and she probably went through six, seven bottles of wine, I'm sure. And <laughs> she's all chalking down her IP addresses to uh, to come get us, I'm sure. So um, hopefully. Pick hopefully you up they... and deliver you somewhere. Oh, man, I'm watching out my door this this whole week. Just in case. You know, I'm, I'm pretty close to her, like an hour away, and I'll probably be the first one getting hit um but jess and Lori, you know for putting this on for us every week shout out to the team tang you know my boys over there alejandro craig Devin, and uh player and um you know to you guys man thanks i'm gonna go back and watch this i'm sure there's some laughs and uh hysteria from you chuckleheads and uh you know appreciate you guys you know still uh still thriving off that time you let me sit up here in the booth that's where i'm getting all this energy from Awesome, man. Well, you should be thriving off the energy, picking up the race win here at Martinsville. Continue that momentum, buddy. Having a fantastic week here and uh, heading on home to uh, Texas coming up next week and uh, looking pretty strong for that one, buddy. So congratulations on the race win to the 14 of Dustin with a Y, Dustin Eaton. And uh, good luck with the rest of the season here, bud. Thanks, fellas. And with that... We close everything on out here for tonight, and it was Martinsville, fellas. That's what it was. It was Martinsville. We did see a couple. They weren't necessarily long green flag runs, but, you know, 20, 25 laps or so, and uh, we, we did get to see some good racing in there. Yeah, 100%. I mean, this is, this is what you get when you come to a very, very small track with a very, very powerful car, or in this case, truck, uh that's low traction low uh low drag and uh or low arrow and you know you get out there and you slide around and you beat and bang and and you have a lot of fun so uh you know i i think we had a lot of fun watching it you know i i love short tracks i i hope they don't ever get rid of the short tracks uh, they're a lot of fun to watch here in bristol are, are such a great such a great time for us and can't wait to the next one but yeah next week at texas uh that one's gonna be a lot of fun too and uh love the big big fast mile and a half yeah uh what he said <laughs> ditto <laughs> did do and so we go ahead and wind things down here from martinsville let's go ahead and tell everybody where their favorite driver ended up finishing here for tonight with that 14 of Dustin Eaton picking up the race win, 34 of Nick Ramsey finding his way on home in second in the 55 of Ricky Wittenberg racing his way up onto that podium in third. 89, Craig Goodenough started up at the front and pretty much stayed there just about the entire race until uh, pit stops kind of had to force him uh, back throughout the field and then chaos ensued from there, finds his way up into fourth. Fifth goes to that seven of Timothy Pope having a great battle up there up at the front. 23, Sean McDonald having some good battles as well as that 23 machine finds its way home in the sixth. Three of Austin Paul up 14 spots on the day. We saw him going side by side quite a lot tonight, but having a fantastic run there in seventh. 28, of George Rincon having a very solid night indeed. Finishing here 
inside that top 10 in eighth with his good wiser teammate mr mike average in the 82 machine up seven spots to finish inside that top 10 in ninth 33 of jess vaught is going to be tied for a hard charger of the day and having a fantastic time uh crawling up through the field until some teammate on teammate uh, violence occurred and uh, but he did a great job of fighting through uh, whatever he had to fight through and finds his way home into that top 10. 43 truck of John Curtis finishes in 11th place, 12th place, Josh Bittner in the 84, the 81 of Chachi, John Osborne finishing in a 13th place, up 13 spots. Great job there uh, by Jonathan. The uh, 14th place goes to Andrew Player in the 18 machine, the 10 of Andrew Cawthon. Uh, did not qualify here tonight, but he'll be up a whole bunch of spots. Started 33rd. He'll finish in 15th place. Uh, great job there by Andrew picking up that many spots. Uh, Kelly Kill picked up a few spots here. He'll finish in 16th place in the 01 truck. The uh, 92 machine, Greg Klein, doing some spinning of other folks out there here tonight. We love it. He'll finish in 17th place. And 18th goes to Larry Dickerson, who started way up in, uh, outside row number three. Uh, he'll finish in 18th place in the 69 truck. The 79, Alejandro Gonzalez, uh, had some problems out there tonight. We saw him go around a couple of times. Uh, he'll finish in 19th place, still up eight spots, so good finish for him. And rounding out your top 20 tonight, up nine spots, Jack Dixon, Jack the Ripper in the 19 truck. 72, Chandler Paul, 21, 22nd, 085, Greg Dobson, 58, Robert Chipman ended up 23rd. 24th, America's Driver, number 99, Albert Anderson. 187, Scott D. Howell, 25th. 26th, 123, John Gallagher, number 8, Edson Ochoa, the Ocho, 27th. 28th, 434, Kevin Hunt. 29 of Dave Mayberry ended up, 29th, how fitting. Uh, one spot ahead of his arch rival, Kyle Ooh. Mott, 16, ended up 30th. 31st, Zachary Hallinan in the 74 truck jacob young in the 77 he had a lot of issues tonight 32nd dustin wade from ohio ended up in 33rd in that 68 truck and then there's lori vaught thank you and uh don't come get us we were just trying to have fun tonight we yeah don't kill us please. it was all in jest that's indeed and that is your field here tonight from Martinsville. As always, we thank you all for tuning in and watching and having a great time out here with us. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you get alerted every single time that we go live. And if you do enjoy any of the action, be sure to hit that thumbs up button so that way we can continue to grow this fantastic community. Also like to say a huge thank you to the proud sponsors of the VRL, such as GC Cruise Travel. Blue Fox Properties and Mr. Dave Mayberry, and of course, DND Race Graphics and Mr. Ricky Wittenberg. Thank you all for your continued support of the fantastic Vigilante Racing League, as uh, without it, they wouldn't be able to put on the amazing show week in and week out that they always do. So with that, we close things on down here for tonight, but don't you worry, we'll be back out in action at Talladega with the Num Thumbs Racing League uh, Super Speedway Series coming up on Sunday evening. So we look forward to seeing everybody uh, out then uh, around uh, our normal time and can't wait to see it. But until then, I'm Alan Brown for Alan English and Adam Turner. We're signing off. Thank you for being a friend. See ya.